Mm, testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. I think we're <clears throat> ready to come uh, online here. If I'm not mistaken. Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Venkabot. Third strike action, week of Rue. My name is David, yo. You guys know what's good. Damn, I'm tired. Michigan Masters whooped my ass. That's cool, though, guys. We're playing some more third strike. Why wouldn't we be, dude? You never get enough of this game, ever. Um, on my uh, break, uh, our new friend Flow Clutch challenged me to a 1v1. I explained to him that I'm not going to be playing Alex this week. Let's see what he feels about that. All right, so let's see if I can... Uh, I'm going to actually make a uh, my own lobby and invite him. Um, I think it's a good experience for me to try and... My plan today was to go to training mode, first of all, and then go to arcade mode for a little bit and try and learn the very basics of using Ryu. But I think instead, because Flow Clutch is not that strong. Flow Clutch is not that strong. I think it's going to be a good time for me to try a new character and we'll see what I can learn. Player match. Trade a match. Eight private slots. Lots of guys are playing right now. Oh, Darkstalk is playing the Trial of, of Vampire Savior, huh? You had that at Michigan Masters, dude. You have to let me know how you feel about that. Because it's lovely. Lovely. What we got here? So, we got Kid Gorilla Online, Quest 1's on, Little B's Online. And that's about it. We're gonna wait for a couple minutes here for Flow Clutch. In case he's uh, preoccupied. So, Bukia, what do you think about Ryu? Thank you all. Hi there. Welcome aboard, dude. Welcome aboard. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of the placing I made. I was telling the guys earlier, I'm not proud of how I played. Uh, you know, I feel like I played really gimmicky. But I'm going to cut myself some slack because I was definitely under a lot of pressure. Not from the tournament itself. That was really actually pretty laid back. But from the uh, drive up. It was a historic storm in Michigan. And uh, I was so stressed out getting there that day that I was shaking when I walked in. Because the driving was so white knuckle. So white knuckle. So yeah, I feel like I wasn't really in any state of mind to play as solidly as I would have liked. So I ended up playing uh, pretty gimmicky. But I, I got some nice... Uh, you know, my bracket was pretty... Uh, the guys I fought were not experienced with, you know, Alex shenanigans. I basically used a lot of shenanigans. It was pretty gimmicky play. I would have liked to have played more solidly. I think uh, if I had played more solidly, I probably would have lost sooner, to be honest. At my play level, I probably wouldn't have made it to fourth place, but it still would have been, uh, I feel like, a stronger showing from me personally. Basic play can take you far with him. In my, so basic play, I uh, hit stars. What do you mean by basic play? Uh, my goal is to try and not use specials. I don't want to try and use too many Jodons or too many um, uppercuts or too many fireballs. Can I invite this guy with a message? To Flow Clutch. Are you on YouTube now? What the fuck? Uh, I can't edit this. Okay. Let's message him here. No games? Invite him one more time. We're going to wait for another, like, three minutes. We're going to, um, move on with our lives. This flow, I get the impression this Flow Clutch guy is pretty young. Put from YouTube to Netflix. What the fuck? Let's go, Bootcamp. Yeah, please, please play some sets. I appreciate that. At my level, you know, I want to learn this character, so some beginner set to be nice. Maybe next time we can work something out with the PGN guys to see if they let you go. Oh, they would have, dude. They would have. They really would have. But in my mind, it wasn't going to be a big deal. I was very much... I was talking to Rick about that afterward, but Rick was like, dude, why don't you just stay with us, man? We've been hella easy. You know, we're family here, right? We're family. They're very warm guys. And it wasn't that I was, you know, shy or that I was self-conscious. I really just thought that it was not going to be a big deal. I was like, it's just an hour drive back and forth. That way I can use my own bed and use my own shower, right? It's kind of, I thought it was going to be, a, I thought it'd be worth it, right? I was like, you know, I could, you know, I could have chipped in for a hotel with somebody. But, you know, gas is not that expensive right now. I could have just driven out there and driven back. So I slept in my own bed, which would have been, you know, comforting. 
have my own shower, eat food in my own house. I thought it was not going to be a big deal. But it was a huge fucking deal. I'm not gonna make, uh, I'm never gonna make that mistake again. I'm never making that mistake again. That was just uh, really the stress affected my play. It made the weekend more exhausting than it had to be. I'm just gonna get a place one way or another. Oh, I don't wanna be out. That's a that's a bad habit. I don't wanna be Yang either. I wanna use Shinky. No, I wouldn't have Templar, because I had to sleep as the issue. I wanted to get as many games as possible in, right? Because it was a 24-hour event um, over two days. So I had to very carefully balance how late I stayed. I wanted to stay very late to get as many games as possible. And then, you know, I had to get up early the next day, right? So uh, I think what Templar is saying is, yeah, you're right, Templar, you're right. You know, I, I, I should have left the event an hour earlier and then slept an hour more. Um, or, you know, I should have fucking left three hours earlier and slept three hours more, but really, it was a tough balance to strike. Okay. I could have counter sweep that. I gotta remember that. I'm, I'm, I'm a Shoto now. I can, my sweep is really good. Didn't want to do that. I can counter sweep that now. Cut should punch that better. Okay. Yeah, you're right, Templar. It was just it was like it was tough. Managing time was tough. Here's up, Kyo. What's up, dude? Oh, not much. I'm having fun here playing Rue for the first time. Peace. Yeah, let's go. Peace. Oh no, I wanted a standing. I wanted standing close, fierce. Because how'd your Sunday go, Kyo? Got back home. Hopefully, got a little bit of rest. Um. Um. I know. I just went. I. Well, I mean, when I got back, by the time I got back, I had to go into work like two hours later. No, really? That's so savage. God damn. No, it was cool. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with it. Get home from a fucking flight, then go straight to work? Sounds tough. Yeah, cool. no Alright, so I'm just gonna stay with Ryu, Shinku Adoken. He's gonna go with Yun. It's my week of Ryu, dude. I'm gonna be playing Ryu all week. No, no uh, Alex this week. Here's up, uh, Sandy Bags. I, I wasn't even thinking of the multi, multiple day part. I was thinking more leave your house an hour earlier to get to the event earlier, but yeah. Look, here goes. No combos. Here we go. I think I want the fierce one, though, not the jab one. I could have punished that. Yeah, jumping around house is good for him. I want his <laughs> standing shoes. So who the hell is Rue? <laughs> welcome board, Sandy. Welcome board. Sandy doesn't. Sandy doesn't like that. Oh, I can get clo I can get close beam kicking though. I didn't want the boy. This these inputs are not working for me today. I'm getting like everything like totally random. Sandy might. Sandy. Sandy might stop following the screen. I'm sorry, Sandy. Yeah. I think here goes. Yes, I'm pretty proud of how I placed. I'm not super proud of how I played, but I am proud of how I placed. I'd like to. I think next time I want to play much more solid. I was really over relying on a lot of gimmicks. But as I've been talking to stream already all day about, I feel like you know, I'm. It was. I was under a lot of pressure, so I, I think I did okay. So I think if I had been a little bit more calm. If I'd been in a better state of mind, if I'd been fed, if I had time to warm up, I would have definitely um, played better and probably actually would have lost sooner. I probably would have got knocked out a lot sooner trying to play solid. The gimmicky play got me far, but that's not the way I prefer to play. No, Sandy! <laughs> okay, control this guy. <laughs> Oh, I have pretty good medium kick. So I got pretty good buttons, it seems like. All my buttons seem like they have a function. Okay. 
What's your use car grab? Medium punch. Medium punch, okay. Like Stay medium punch? Forward. Toward. Forward. Okay. Here's a portion play. <laughs> no, I did okay at Michigan Masters. He's not got a good connection. He's not very strong. There's a damn fine connection. Yo, counter sweeps. Fucking Shoto privilege. Okay, so yeah, I want. So, what's Ryu's good combo for punishing? Let's close Fierce into Jodan, right? Into Tatsu, I think. Yeah. I think I did okay, horseplay. Roof Paul, all those attacks are fierce. Roof of the Pooh. Let's go, Templar. Be the guy. Get on Deviant Dart right now. Go on to Fiverr and request a commission. Alright. So I want I want to get better at close standing fierce. Prepare to strike now. I can also jump in. I can jump in round, I can jump in fierce too. I can counter sweep those now. <coughs> I'm doing Alex stuff. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, okay, I combo that. Cross up tattoos. Good. Good one, Pat. Screaming green, huh? That's weird. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Not sure why that push didn't come out there. Okay, that was a oh, yeah, jab fireball. Okay, I gotta stop doing that. I keep, I'm shooting like the flash shot, it's not a flash shot. Uh, okay, once again, Alex stuff. That, that's not inside. If you place like. If you place top four, you didn't get washed. That's, that's my definition. As long as you place top four, it's okay. Obviously, if you had 100 players. If you place like top 16, that'd be a break. They had about 23, like that. Yeah, they had like 20, uh, 23, 24. No, 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 it was actually more. It was like 27, I think. Because we had oh, okay. 32 guys, and there's like five guys that got disqualified for not showing up. So, I mean, you have that kind of number. If you make top four, then that's all. Um, Prepare to strike now. Anthony? I don't know. Anthony could be uh, mutant. No, no, no. He's got third place in front of him. Oh, okay. I have no clue. I'm I assure you. Horse play clearly ascribes to the chicken dinner theory of victory. <laughs> so I think I whiffed this cartridge medium punch to get meter.
Oh yeah, it's, it's for the back kicks for the Joe Don. No, no, that's for the Tatsu. So what's the command for Joe Don? Is that back to forward and then kicks? Like uh, half circle forward, I think. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you for the Reiner Templar. I think for the uh, follow across the 88. I'm sorry. I'm so distracted by the match. We play 3S here a lot, dude. We play 3S here about 17 hours a week on Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday from around 8 to around 11 p.m. Eastern, and then uh, for eight hours on Tuesday. It's Tuesday, Tuesday. <clears throat> I'm going to try and throw some practice Joe Downs here. Maybe. Try quarter circle. Quarter circle forward and then kick. Okay. Yeah, it might be quarter circle. Like Hadoken and a kick. Yeah, thank you, Templar. Templar got my back. Oh, hey, it is. Thank you, Joe. It's actually pretty easy. No, no, it's not use too many specials, though. I want to combo into all my specials. Oh, wrong, wrong direction. No, no punish. No punish again. E, I wonder if this. Eat from the. Thank you, Sorry, I can check my commands. But I think I know my commands, though. I think I, now that I know that Jodan, I know all my commands. Well, actually, I don't know all my command normals, I guess. Not necessarily. Where's my. Uh... I deserve that. Wake up, supers. Ooh. My medium kick don't come out there. I'm hitting it too early. Oh, oh no. Yeah, you can. <clears throat> Templar, you can. <clears throat> so you have to do like uh... Whoa, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to uh, uh, show you but kicks instead. So in my head, I think show you motion always goes to kicks because I'm playing Alex. You probably do like an EX there. EX version. It come out instantly. Yeah, it's not going to have the alt colors. I'm sorry, good vibe. Across, he says, nice. Looking forward to learning the game myself for 3rd anniversary. Sick. Getting some Street Fighter back in my life, dude. It's going to be very exciting. It's a very, very exciting time for 3S, I think. When you parried that Tatsu, could you then DP to punish while he was in mid-spin? Yes, you definitely can. I've seen it before. Any limits on what DP you can use? Uh, no, I don't think so. They all have a very fast start on it. If you get a parry on a Tatsu, you can probably destroy whichever one you want. <clears throat> right in the middle. I wanted. Should have. Yeah, yeah. I have practice. Get my actual punch. You want to be safer? And use the EX version. Uh, no. You go for the north one. It's got to be instant. As soon as you parry, you got to be like, yeah, cool, cool. <laughs> so. Yeah. Instant. Try to be instant. If your timing's a little off, you're gonna get obviously. Alright. DP Dick Punch. I use EX to get more damage though. Because it's a counter hit. So yeah, so I can do knee just like Alex can knee into the same motion. See, I'm just that was just Alex stuff there. I gotta get that out of my hands a little bit. I was doing like, uh, the knee into uh, EX flash chop there, which comes out as the EX fireballs. You know, same combo. Terry dick punch then taunt to show no fear. That's way good vibe thinks. I wanna get. I actually go into training mode. This guy's not helping me. He's he's moving around too much. I want a dummy so I can practice my close, uh, close, fierce into Jodan. Okay, 
I never blast. I can do that as wake up. I can do I practice on his wake up. So I'm gonna get on top of him and then do close fierce into Joe down into some other combo. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I was, I was gonna do that, I forgot. I'm gonna knock him down first. I'm having trouble canceling it. Not it. I got a little punish there, I like that. Don't want that. Terry taunt and then dick punch. <laughs> yeah. That'd be sick. I'm gonna fight this guy one more time, then I really wanna go to training mode and practice some stuff. I'm having trouble canceling my close fierce into Donkey Kick. I know I can. I'm pretty sure it's a bread and butter, right? Close fierce into Donkey Kick. But I'm not able to execute it. I wonder what the uh, the frame it is in that close fierce. I wonder how fast it comes out. I'm right, looking that up right now, in fact. Here you go! <laughs> Where's my donkey kick? Man, I'm hitting it too early. Whoa! Wow, they, they didn't ban Gilgamesh. Oh shit. <laughs> That's crazy. That never blocks. What? They didn't wrong about that. Damn, this is a man's lobby. I like it. I <laughs> kill. I love it, dude. Maybe not being good. <laughs> Only the strong survive in this lobby, so that's what they're trying to say. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to dip now. I don't know, I don't want to dip when I kind of uh, troll them a little bit with those sweeps. I'll give them one more fight where I'm going to not do that. Let's get the frame to the open here, though. Bookmarks frame data. Rude. Okay, so he dipped. Save me the trouble. <coughs> All right, so let's see. Well, I'm gonna actually. Who else is online? Kill. You wanna do some sets with me so I can get some Ryu practice? Okay. So just a little bit. I know it's not gonna be super interesting for you. I mean, I have no idea how to play and all, but um, yeah, I think that'll be awesome. <coughs> so, invite. Kyo. It's a negative two on hit and minus four. Well, what I meant was, I mean, it must have started upon it. So how good is it for a punish? I mean. Let's see here. So fierce as a four frame startup, really close fierce is four frame start. So it's pretty fast, pretty damn fast. And what are the cancel windows on it? Let's see. <coughs> cancel. Oh, it only has one frame to cancel. So that's not what I'm thinking of then. So what's his bread and butter? Is it crouching fierce into Jodon? Yeah. Oh, okay, crouching. So it's, yeah, it's doing close fierce. Okay. All right. Oh. That was my problem. That was only one frame you can cancel it on. The close fierce. So the crouching fierce has a five frame startup. Okay, so it's pretty slow. I don't want to use that as your main punish in a lot of cases. <clears throat> crouching fierce into Jodon. Okay. Right. 
Well, this shows. The four beam punches is overhead. Okay, I want to hit fierce, not jab fireball. That's not what I wanted. Far. <laughs> Toward me punch, it's pretty far. I wonder how fast it comes out. Let's see here. Uh, Toward strong. 14 frames to get the first hit. That's really slow. And Toward Fierce is his gut punch, has 18 frames. Holy shit. You have to get a period twice, though. Yeah, but you can't punch it on block. <laughs> <laughs> plus three on block. Oh really? Uh, close round. Uh, excuse me. Uh, forward this one. Yeah. That's plus on block. Okay. Let me see how much how plus that is. I can't do anything on it. Uh, towards fierce is uh, plus two on block. That's really interesting. Yeah. Exactly. I never knew that about Ryu before. Shit. Yeah. Good fact is I love that gut punch. You don't see that, you don't see people use that often for being so so. Uh, I guess on wake up. Oh, I am on that. It, it, it's a bad move, but you can combo off of it. It's not, it's not necessarily a good button. Oh, I am on that. <clears throat> having trouble getting anything to come out. <laughs> Where's my fucking fireball? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> there you go. What the? <laughs> it must be really, I wish I could see my inputs in this game like you can in some other fighting games, like on screen. Like, I swear I'm not hitting uppercuts. It must be really forgiving, like... Yeah, isn't there like a shortcut, like, down forward, like... Yeah, down, down forward, down forward, yeah, like, you yeah. diagonal? Yeah, like, two, you do two, two diagonal, that's my problem. You don't gotta actually go all the way forward for a sure you. Okay. I kinda wish you did have to go all the way down, like, what's the point of having a shortcut? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you do, I guess you can yeah, do a uh, down forward, then down, then down forward to get a sure you. Oh, yeah. It's annoying as hell. It makes it hard to, uh, like, it makes it hard to, like, kind of dash up, then crouch, then do, like, a uh, Hadouken. Okay. Uh, I got, now that I know the problem is, it's going to be a little bit easier. Okay. Now, I have a really fast sweep here to Alex. Like, this would be crazy fast. <laughs> Uh, Cross, what's the best follow-up to a donkey kick? I think it's supposed to be, um, Roundhouse Tatsu, right? You can do that, or you can do sure you. Like, I can do, I can do, like, uh... Damn. How the... Damn, it's hard to cancel. Yeah, you gotta be kind of a little bit fast on it. I think you're doing it too slow. Yeah, I probably am, I guess. Okay. Two. I don't know. Something, something's gonna miss here. Let me go check the frame data. So I want uh, crouching. I should just go to training mode. That way, Kyoko can actually get some real matches. Because still, I'm still brand new. I want uh, crouching. I can't do anything. So use the off one. Crushing Fierce, cancel. Also, there's only one frame to cancel it on. <sighs> I swear, I was playing it offline and had no problem getting that cancel, but it's only one frame. That can't be right. What was I doing last time, then? <laughs> Let's uh, exit. I'm gonna go to training mode real quick. Thank you, Kale, for the matches. No, no problem. <clears throat> doing a half circle to get to do Hadouken makes it easy to walk up and not get sure you can IMO. Thank you for the tip, oh hi there. Do a half circle for Hadoukens instead. Get super off of it too. Um, Jodan, then get super? There might be a way to do that, I'm not sure. But you're asking the wrong guy, it's my first time playing Rue. Is Donkey Kick I, I, the really strong one that can bounce him off the walls? Yes. I I can show you all kinds of set plays you can get off of it. Like resets, all kinds of crazy stuff. I mean, when, you, when you're ready. Yeah. I still gotta figure out what the hell all my basic bread and butters are. 
said apparently both my I thought it was close fierce into Jodon. I thought it was crouching fierce into Jodon. Both those only have one frame to cancel on, which is crazy. So I want Shinko Doken. I don't even see him right. So I can do like crouch strong probably into Jodon. Uh -uh. Yeah, that doesn't work. Uh -oh. Well, what? You don't do, uh... You're gonna use the fierce and uh Yeah, that's it, this fierce. You can use any other uh I think the donkey must be a half circle mode. That's my problem, I think. Let me check my training options. Excuse me, um, move list. Jodon is half circle kicks. Half circle, okay. But I swear I was getting it to work with only a quarter circle. <laughs> I guess I must have been moving. Alright, so that's my problem. So if can I get... Yeah, okay. But that's not a one frame cancel then. So what's the frame they're telling me then? I must be misreading this. Close fierce cancels. According to this, only there's only one cancelable frame. That's not that can't be correct. No, that's not true. I can vary the timing a lot. Huh. That seems weird. Hmm. Okay, so I'm kind of disconcerted now because I can't trust the site anymore for frame data for cancelable frames anyway. Alright. The half circle is the half circle forward is for the donkey. That's what I'm looking for. So I can So I have to EX to get a real combo? What about you can, you can, I mean, okay, if you're going for like a bigger combo, you do the EX. Yeah. You bounce them off the wall. You right. can do normal, like fierce into a. Use LK. Okay, so LK is the regular one. I gotcha. You can't do the roundhouse one. Okay. Uh uh. -huh. So, what I wanna do is I wanna do for my. for my, It's like, let's say they like sure you. I wanna probably do like close fierce and the EX donkey kick and then Tatsu. Like that. Okay. So what else do I got here? I've got uh, Towards Fierce, I got Roundhouse. I was gonna take Sandy's advice and just look at my command list. I thought I had didn't have to, but clearly I do. Okay, Hadoukens, Shoryu's, Tatsumaki's, Jodan's, Super. That doesn't tell me my command normals. Okay, that doesn't help me though. <clears throat> so towards medium punch is the overhead. It looks faster than it is. It looks like it's pretty fast. Also, close fierce is plus on block. Air to air medium punch is good. Okay. Oh, because a neutral jump, um, roundhouse, excuse me, uh, Fierce is a pretty good jump-in tool, I guess. Okay. Actually, I hit it not quite at top. Yeah, you can't hit it quite at the very top, but you have quite a lot of leeway, though. Possibly EX Donkey Dragon Punch and level 1 Super? Uh, Donkey Dragon Punch and level 1 Super. Level 1, I think you mean SA1? Maybe, but I really, I'm way far from getting to that point. I'm not worried yes. about like max combos. I'm just trying to get some basis. Yes. You, can, you can do that. But, uh, uh, it's not worth doing it. It's, super, it's gonna scale a lot of the damage, but um, it, it's, a, it's a kill combo. It wins around. Oh, it just scales so much. Oh. 
So crouching forward hits pretty far away. I can combo it into oh I can combo with the with the jab fireball. Okay. For the purpose of different recoveries, let's find out. I'm not sure if they everyone's if they recover differently or not. Specials. We got here. Hadokens. They're all negative nine on block. They all have the same recovery, 36. They all start at the same. So it's just different speeds. They go over different speeds across the screen. That's about it. Okay. I can also, um, you know... So let's put on the damage counter. Let's see here. Uh, training options. Uh, attack data. Uh, maximum SA gauge. Alright, so let's see what my punishes are here. Can Ryu combo off a forward medium punch in third strike? Uh, only if it's very late. If you hit it like very last frame, like on a meaty, then you can do combos. But if they're already standing um, and you're hitting them like, you know, point blank, it's no good. Hit them from very far, like max spacing, maybe. But they need to be, yeah, like that, perhaps. They can, if they're waking up, you can, though. I'm no good at it. I mean, this is my first day playing Rue. Do you always block on wake up? That's weird. I didn't know that. Let's go crossy. So my main concern right now is not combos. My main concern is like how to think when you're playing as Ryu. Like, how do you think? I got a couple of jump in options. I can jump in with Roundhouse. I can hit it pretty deep. It looks like. Whereas I can hit a little, little more forgiveness if I jump in with my... Maybe not. I think I'm just executing it very slowly. Okay, so uh, we have damage on the screen now. That's 19. This is also 19. So those are both 19. Okay. So, uh, you can touch in the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can touch in the air. If I can execute it. So you have to do it. Okay, you can do it at any point. Patience and fundamentals. So why do I want to touch in the air? Good vibe. I mean, I know when I fight Shodos, I feel like that they control a lot of space up there, right? It's kind of like it's an air to air. I don't. I never cross up as Alex. I know he had to cross up. I'm not sure if Ryu does as much as Ken does. Maybe with the jumping roundhouse, right? Like that. And combo that. Okay, so 39 damage versus 41 damage. Okay. 39 damage. 41 damage versus uh, 41 dropped it. Fifty-five. That's a lot more if I do that combo. That's my main punish, I guess. But I'm dropping it. I'm not sure what causes that to drop. It must be a timing thing. Probably also has a spacing from the wall, maybe. It's more to like kind of fall into you. Okay, I think I understand. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> you tricks. Where's my EXs? Okay, I'm facing the wrong way if I get right in the corner. Okay, a little too early there. There we go. In the corner. Well, that was a 3 combo. That reset. 59 damage. Interesting. I used it more against certain characters like Oro, who jumped a lot against me. Yeah, because it, it controls the sky, right? Compared to Alex, he has a really shitty backdash. 
but about the same forward dash. Now I say shitty as in it doesn't go as far, but it's pretty quick and it's good for like subtle spacing, right? You're supposed to use it to make people whiff. And you kind of flirting, oh, uh, back dash, uh, back dash. Let the whiff like a crouching forward or something. Whereas Alex is more like an escape tool. Ryu, not so much. It's for like, it's like whiff punishing. So how come you can't combo that into that? What's your special or normals? So, uh, EX, let's check out the startup for EX on Jodan. Comes out in 13 frames. So you have 13 frames of advantage to make that combo. After a cancel. So, uh, let's see, crouching forward. Okay, okay, okay. I got you. We're we getting off towards fierce. Uh, towards towards fierce. Uh, I don't think I get anything. It's plus two, so nothing. I don't think it cancels. You, you can do a you can do a DP up. A little tight. It's a straight five four combo. It works at Yeah, the DP has what kind of startup? Let's see, specials. Has a three frame startup on all the shore use. Except for, oh, EX. Okay, so it takes two frames to start up. I get two frames of advantage. Let's see. Off of, no, on hit, what is it? We know on block it's plus two. But uh, on hit, uh, towards fierce, is actually um, four, looks like. Yeah, it's four. So yeah, I can get any anyone I want if I time it correctly. Here's up, Truth. Right. That is correct. I used to gut punch, then do some backwards punch from the head down. Yeah, so like this. Well, you mean like uh, like that, and then that. Yeah, because they're gonna want to block afterward. They're gonna want to crouch block, so that'll hit them overhead. Yeah. But um, yeah, I wanna. So I can apparently I can. There we go. Four hit combo. It's very tight timing, you have to link it. There's no cancel. Good old Street Fighter 4 combo. <laughs> Ooh, that's tight. Oh man, I can get it off EX, EX is one frame faster, right. but theoretically, it's possible off of any of them, I just can't get it fast enough, but I'm going to try, okay, there we go, Four hit combo, that's definitely pretty tight, alright, so, okay, there we go. Kara. It's kind of like the way I used to do it with Alex with different fingers, though. Instead of using my ring finger and my index, I use my middle finger and my index. The Kara. Okay. Seems pretty far. Yeah, they're all the same. Yeah, it's not faster. Yeah. The only one faster is the EX version. For the Dragon Punches. So they're all four frames up except for EX, which is three frames. I want to float outside and then float back in and grab them like that. Float out, float back in. I want to hit the... want to plink it. I float in, float out, plink it. Right, let's uh, put you over there. Okay. Oh, let's go, decoy man! Dude, thank you for the sub, dude. Welcome, dude. Welcome aboard. Oh, Welcome decoy. Aboard. Decoy. Long time no see, homie. 
if you guys don't know, decoy with my chaperone at Michigan Masters. He's like my bodyguard. He was the guy all tatted up so everybody would be scared to mess with us. So I had him and Kyo also. They're gonna intimidate people. Because Kyo's so intimidating. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can't wait to show you some new shit. Dude. So hopefully by the end of this week I will be competent enough that I'll be able to understand some Ryu shit. I'll show you so many ambiguous things. Nasty mix-ups. But yeah, you gotta get that uh, EX uh, Jodan. You gotta get that bad. Yeah. In order for me to show you this stuff, you gotta get it Oh yeah, I have to go all the way to back to forward. I'll show you some ambiguous resets. There you go. What if I were to oh. like... Up your corner game. Dico says, I expect Kyo to be so buff, bro. <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, 48 damage. You gotta remember though, I'm mixed. I'm Asian and Spanish, so I mean, that might be the Spanish side. But Asians are normally kind of, you know. It's only 44. I so, wanna say Freo, but you know, they're kind of small. Spanish people are usually kind of, you know, bigger. Uh, uh, Congratulations on attorney! Oh, big damage. I know, Dequay got top 10! Yeah. So we all got top 10. First first attorney, right? Yeah, it was, I think it was, it was his first, yeah. That's not bad. That's not actually really good. Shabby. 57 damage. That's probably the most you can get. I wonder oh. how much uh, EX Tatsu would do there. Let's see if I can do it. Not that much. Uh, yeah. Next tournament, you're gonna make top four. Ooh. Let's go. Ninth place. If I wanted uh, to bring a uh, decoy and crime with me to TFC, you could fucking be a team. Uh, but it's on arcade. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It'll be on arcade. And decoy being on arcade. Okay, that's the problem why he can't go to Don. Because it's, uh, yeah, we can still go. It's just we have to, you know. It's still good to meet some people and get some tips and stuff. But yeah, I agree. It's gonna be kind of tough if you're a pad player. He's not, he's not gonna play it, okay, thank you, Cycle Steps. It's Donkey Kong. Okay, let's try that. I'll go back to the middle of the screen. Um, that would be like. Oh no, Kavi! You must not oh, know. Oh, okay. Steve ain't lying. <laughs> you must not know. Next week, tune in because you're going to see Kyo exploit some uh, Ryu tech. Oh, see various specials. Might change your mind on that statement. Really? EX Tattoo is trash and counts so Kyo's got some good combos with EX Tattoo. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. You might change your mind on that. Just wait till next week. TFC is in North Carolina, and that is usually, I think it's in September. Yeah, it's so September 20, 20, uh, 7th through 29th. There you go. Yeah, in Rayleigh, North Carolina. Let me see what we got here. Thank you, Side of Sandy Bags. Dude, you haven't been following yet, Sandy Bags? Yo. <laughs> what an honor, dude. Thanks for the follow, man. You haven't been playing any commercials, so. Yeah. <laughs> I just wait until the stream's over. You can enjoy those commercials, man. All right. So I want um, to really nail this. Let's go decoy. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and convince please. Crime to like come with me since we're both in Michigan. Maybe I can like we can like you know share a ride, share a hotel, something like that to save some money. Probably. The EX Tatsu is not maybe for damage though. Let's go. Let's stun. Look at the stun. Oh, stun. Okay. Plus, you can have you can do combos off. Of it. It's not really used for damage. So I'm having trouble. So which Jodan do you use to combo after EX Jodan? Only the light one, or can you also do the medium one? Maybe. I'm having trouble getting the, the, the heavy one to hit. You can, you can use all of them. It's the oh. timing. You can use any one of them. It's just timing. Okay. So how does their, jam their damage compare? Let's see here. 17 damage. 20 damage. 23 damage. Okay, so they go up by damage. three each time. Oh, yeah. It's just timing. Right, let's see here. Doing that too early, I guess, for that one. But I always go underneath. 
let's go. I'll, I'll, I'll just send you to get that PS4. I know oh. you might. Probably gonna be in for that. Might just keep 360. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Didn't want that. How do I combo into Super? Um, can I do that flow forward? Super 1. Combo Okay, I can combo into Super off of SA after low forward, okay. Yeah. But I have to probably, you probably don't want to do that raw. I guess you could. I know you can do like... Like that, like... Yeah, yeah, you do light kick, jab, then light kick to confirm. Oh, Steam! Hey, hey, that's a good choice. Steam's gonna play really well. Okay, okay, I gotcha. That'd be a good, that'd be a good option, Steam. Yeah, so how do you... How do you get um, crouching short, crouching jab, crouching short into super? How do you get the motion in there that fast? Like, where's the motion buffered in? Is there a trick to it, or just really just do it after the last short? No, you, you can buffer uh, as you as you go after the short. Yeah. You can buffer in one right there. Okay. You can buffer a quarter I mean, I just do it. Okay. So you mean you, you what you do is you just do, you know, while holding down. Light kick, jab, light kick, and then you do the motion real quick and then hit the super, right? Right. Okay. Okay, I, I just buffered it off of a low short, so I guess it's not that bad. Yeah, you can buffer. Okay. Just don't, don't do it off the jab, because sometimes the, the, the thing is you get, uh... You're buffing off the first? You do a quarter circle before the first, or you come up? Yeah, well, I'm just doing it right now in training, but I'm doing it off of a one low short. So I, I know that I can do it off of a low short. I'm having trouble. Did you do the first one or the second one? Well, the first one. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah do it like that. Just don't do it off the jab because a lot of times you'll, you'll fuck up and you can stand in Like a lot of you see a lot of players when they play a buffer it, they go to do short short, right? Mm -hmm. They do one cross short, then they do a standing short and it fucks up. I gotcha. I have seen that before. Well, you see, you see, you see a lot of times with Ken, they go to dash up short, short, and they'll get one standing like kick. Okay. Oh, it's a fax. So I can't combo it off of a jumping roundhouse. Oh, I can. I did, I think. Okay, this is pretty tight, though. Oof. I'm not used to comboing into super, because I don't ever do that with Alex. <laughs> so getting the motion in there that fast is tough for me. Okay, there we go. Oh, if you want to com combo off the jump in, you, you got to hit the jump in late, that's all. Yeah. Hit it the more time you have these. So, if I want to use Super Art 1, uh, what is the best time to use it? Like, how do I. Like, for a beginner, what's the best way for me to get that? Or do I just not even use that at all and mostly use the meter for, for EX Jodon, EX Fireball? Yeah, if, you, if, you want, if you want to try to Super, do uh, Crouch 4. In the fireball, then cancel, cancel super. Oh, I can cancel the fireball? I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay, so I can do like... Let me try that again. That's like a, a beginner's way to kind of do it. Can you confirm it? Oh, okay. I can do that. Sick. It, uh, it scales a little bit, but I mean, you know... My scale one hit point. It's not a big scale. So it's a, I have time to confirm that hypothetically off of the low forward fireball then. Okay. So that's 47 damage versus 49 damage. So you use two points of damage if you put a fireball oh, in the middle. Okay, yeah. That's, that's, that's not a big deal. That's not huge. Yeah. But even then, I think this it's such a tight cancel. I don't see myself using that to confirm. Like that, I don't see how the fireball really can help me confirm that. I don't know, maybe. Give me a couple more frames. Yeah, You'd exactly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a lot easier to do it that way if you do it just off the cross the one. So. Okay. 
Okay. I still go for a hard read, I mean, it's not safe. I went for like a hard read, like just low forward into super or whatever. Like, I think they're not, not gonna block low, I can just. Well, the, okay, the, the, the thing is, if you know it's gonna hit, they do something, they wake up DP, right? They right. miss. You know it's gonna hit. Then you can, in order to make sure you get the super, you can do the crouch forward and the fireballs. Okay. So if you know it's gonna hit, you can do that. Right? That's 49 damage. Actually, less damage than my, you know, my close fierce into EX Jodon. Oh, yeah. Okay. That, that by far is the damage you can he doesn't get damage off super, unless you hit like in crouch. You want to save the EX with the Jodon combo. That hurts. And it does good stun too. Really good stun. Okay, so I've got standing strong as a poke. Like for a right outside of. a right. Uh, so basically, my crouching, my crouching forward is when I'm right outside of standing strong range. So standing strong at like right around here. It all depends on their move they're using, right? Because crouching, uh, standing strong, you can get underneath my standing strong with a button, probably. Whereas crouching forward will hit their button. Okay, and then I guess crouching um, strong is mostly used as like a counter poke, right? Like it's like a, a huge number of active frames, so it stuffs things. Let's see how fast these things all are, anyway. So um. Yeah. Yeah, far strong. Where's far strong? Far strong with a five frame start. That's really, really good. And four active frames. Real nice. Real nice. Yeah. Okay, and then um, crouching your, your, forward. Your, yeah. your three main posts are going to be crouch forward, standing strong, and then standing forward. Okay. Standing forward. You, you use standing forward when, uh, especially against Shoto, because they like to do crouch forward a lot. Right? Okay, so, so I'll go over top poke, of that maybe. You poke over the leg. Stop them. Okay. And that's it pretty far. It hits farther than my. I oh, don't know. <clears throat> a little bit farther than my standing strong does. So probably about the same reach as my crouching forward. Well, actually, no, it's actually crouching forward no, even the, further. The whole thing is, you're looking at it wrong, though. You gotta think, they're gonna, when they go to hit you, yes. it's gonna send their hitbox more. That's true. You know, they're not gonna stand still. That, use that poke. You feel like they're gonna do a low or even you know sometimes even a high poke. okay so maybe what you're saying is that maybe i can look at my crouching forward as like my offensive poke like i want to hit you i want to apply pressure to you and maybe like my other like my standing strong or standing forward and like standing strong are more like crouching they're like they're like anticipatory right they're not like offensive they're like to hit your button well i mean crouch crouch forward is more offensive standing right. forward is more defensive okay because you're trying to counter poke. Okay. You're not with really offense. You're just trying to defend and, you know, whiff punish something or you know, hit right. counter poke. Cross forward definitely offensive because that's when you get the cancer. The EX Hado the super DP. Okay, so if I'm in the corner, I do. That's what I do. Oh. I can reset them somehow. Like that, okay. 38 damage and a reset. Is up, Juan? It's that weak, dude. It's the week of Rue. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, I want. To... 49 damage. Not too shabby. Puts me in the corner, though. I don't think I like that. So maybe I don't want to use my like uh, close fierce into EX Jodon when they're in the corner because it puts me in the corner. No. You know what? It, it, it might be a second. Let's, let's, let's... Actually, let me make a lot. Uh, I'm gonna show you something. Okay. You can use it. Okay, I'll join. Let, let, let me show you something really special. Uh, this is gonna be a teaser for uh, next week's. I gotcha. <laughs> so I think I'm ready to go fight in arcade mode or maybe some rank or something like that already. I feel like I've got some ideas of buttons how they work. Like. EX Donkey Kick jab super in the corner, maybe. So I can jab them before they bounce over me? Is that what you mean, Steph? Or do you mean on the reset? Like when they bounce over me, then jab them? I bet that's what you mean. Yeah, yeah, you, okay. you can do that. Uh, uh, cycle, shut up. I was about to show them some shit. Let's go, yeah, sure. Except the invite. I'm going to okay. show you a few things you can do, like mix up. Okay. 
things for me to keep in mind anyway while I'm learning the basics. I'm gonna show you advanced stuff though next week. Message box received. Some crazy shit. Yeah, yeah, 20, you're talking about Crime Alley. Yeah, Crime Alley is um is a very uh, very tough opponent. So I fight him a lot though. So I have some experience fighting him. Were those matches pretty intense? When I was doing, we were doing Hugo Q, Hugo Urien. Yeah, I can't believe Crime's matches were insane. Crime no, were, were insane. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I want no, I don't want Alex. No, I don't want Rude. Really. Got that muscle memory. Bring me down to Alex. All right. <sighs> I was so worried about my streak when he had the Aegis on top of me, but he's gonna dash and I'll do 360. <laughs> All right, cool. so I'm gonna be in the corner. Okay, uh, just block, okay. just block, block, stand block, stand block, keep stand block. Okay. No, stand. Okay. Actually, I'll just do this. All right, so that's plus. Okay. I can crouch block that too. Okay, but, I, but yeah, but I'm yeah, still plus. Yeah. It's a pretty good pressure tool then, because it's plus on block. What else do they have plus on block? Anything? Let me see here. Uh, I'm trying uh, to think off the moment. Uh, okay, some stuff you can do is like, uh, he's got some ambiguous shit. Let's say, um, all right, don't block, just okay. stand still. You can do this. Oh, fuck. Like, okay. hold on. Right. Okay, jumping combos. Reset. Oh, walk back and jab. jab. Okay. Standing jab. They land in front of you. Okay, that way you can keep them in the corner. Okay, sick. You can do that. You can go after you st that, that standing grab reset. Yeah. You can go to super, and they have to parry it during the game. Oh, really? Can you do that to me then? Hit me with it. Okay, good. Um... Okay, then jab super. Sick. They have to parry, so they're at your mercy. You can do whatever you want. If they're parrying, you can hit them up. Right, like roundhouse or strong, something like that, right? Another one you can do. This is really a good one. I'll show you. Okay. Uh, come to the other corner. Just block for a second. Block. Okay. Oh, <laughs> so Tron says, um, I saw you uh, doing something else. Yeah, but I'll use Dudley Ken or Ryu. I got okay, so just no block. See, like stuff you can do with the EX, you can do this. Okay. Oh, okay. That's a lot of stun you said. You saw you saw the stun bar, right? Yeah. Let's can you just show me that again. Let me get my stun bar down for a second here. You know what I'm saying? But the, the better one you gotta learn. Don't block. Stand up. Right. The one you really need to learn is this one. Look at the fucking that. stun. You gotta learn that one because either I can do it to where I don't dash. If I dash, I can I can cross you up. I go behind you. If I don't dash, you're gonna pop behind me. So it's it's ambiguous. They have to guess whether you, you're gonna dash. Oh, okay, it's a mix-up. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, it's a mix-up reset. That's the one you gotta learn. That crowd feels. That thing is dirty. Let me see. Here. I just wanna yeah. hit it. There's so much stun damage. Let me see here. Uh, I missed my standing uh, post here. Oops, missed my EX. It's okay. Shanks, so you're gonna be using uh um okay, so she doesn't want to use engine. Let's see here. Oh he, excuse me, he. Alright, so I want so I've got a little bit of meter now, let's see. I want jumping fierce and then close fierce, EX Jodon, crouching fierce. So all a bunch of fierce buttons. Wow, I'm the fucking stun! You gotta do earlier though. Oh, okay. The whole thing is when their body's over the top of your head, that's when you wanna do. Okay. So let's see here. Yeah, I was mostly just thinking about the stun. I wasn't trying to get the mix up. I think I'm not nowhere near close enough for that yet. The, uh, the cross up or cross under. Let me see. Well, you can do it here. Come up on it. Don't block. You can you can do this. This is this is kind of the uh, easier way to do it. Right. But it, it still works. Like that. Okay. Wow. That is pretty tricky. Some fucking that's uh, stuff. Jet, but I mean, they kind of know when you're dashing, you're gonna be behind them. That's, that's not as ambiguous as say you do this. Right. Okay. Because like, I, I didn't dash. And maybe you were looking for me to dash out, and then, you know, you land right behind me. Yes, yeah, so this guy's like some of the Buki gimmicks and shit. I didn't, never would have picked that from Ryu. He has like some oh. cross ups and cross unders and shit. That's pretty oh, yeah. sick. Okay, okay. Cool beans. Alright, so let me see. I'm going to put you in the corner here. I just want to jump in. He's, he's, he's uh, uh, oh, I missed it. Damn. Okay. 
So I think. Well, that's, that's, yeah. But I wanted to show you know some stuff you can do with the EX toxic. So it's not that bad. They got some stuff you can do. You can also do. I'll show you one. Ryu's plus block. He's like plus on block for fucking everything. He's like the opposite of Alex. Like at least half my buttons are plus on block. No, I, I disagree. They won't eat up Dingen because it's, it's, it's like a guessing game. They, they gotta guess when you release it. They got certain setups where it's almost impossible. Like they're not gonna parry up. Yeah, so Dingen is strong in Japan. And then they got good setups, you know. Yeah, yeah Dingen is strong in Japan. I feel like you know you can't just parry out of it for free. That main character privilege, Templar. It's like everything's plus on block for him. He's negative on uh, on fierce on block. Negative on far fierce on block. Negative on um, far forward on block. And far roundhouse and crouching roundhouse, of course, is a sweep. And that's fucking it. He is plus on everything. God damn. <laughs> so if you make them block your attack, you just keep attacking, basically. So as long as you're within reach, you can do like block strings. Is I guess what I'm, what I'm reading here. You can like make them block whatever. Yeah, as long as you're within range. Okay. All right. So uh, you said you want to show me one more thing, right? Oh yeah. And we can do like let's say uh. Fuck. Okay. Oh, you gotta do. Oh, I know. Here, like, come mid screen. Come mid screen. Right there. Right there. That's good. That's good. I'll be right there. Ooh, that's sick. And see how it puts them back in the corner? And then yeah, you okay. Uh, see, Kavir? That's not bad. You get some shit out of that. Puts them in the corner, the corner again. I mix up on the uh, wake up. So, Bootcamp says, in the words of Moprim, Dinjin Ryu is rolling the dice, but the reward is so good. Yeah, I agree, Twan. He was pretty cool. Okay. So. What's. Uh, you're jumping with Fierce a lot. Is that better than jumping with Roundhouse? <laughs> I, I, I mean, either one, it don't matter. I just, either one you can do. His, Round, roundhouse is better to jump in than most of the time. So his jumping neutral fierce is different from his forward jumping towards fierce. Yeah. Or excuse me, his uh, roundhouse. Yeah, yeah. Ryu Sean with a headband. I mean, jump roundhouse is not really. If you want to do, you want to do jump, jump uh, forward. Okay. That it, ex it extends more. I got gotcha. you. That extends more. Compared to this, right? His foot up. This one sticks out. I wonder how the hitbox differs. Like, because I know that you can jump in combo with both jumping fierce and jumping roundhouse, and they're both good for that. But what makes you choose one or the other? I guess. I guess maybe it's kind of like uh, Alex's jumping uh, fierce and his roundhouse. Where fierce doesn't hit quite as far in front, yeah. but hits lower. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they got different properties. But I mean, yeah. For the most part, if you know it's gonna hit, it's kind of like whatever you're comfortable. With. Right, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so I can jump in combo like, uh, uh, I missed it. Uh, uh, I said again. Damn, I'm having trouble getting my EX Joe done. Okay. So Tron says, I 100% agree. It's like gambling. But gambling's so good though. Who doesn't love gambling? And then when you get to uh. Here, come in the corner. Let me see if I can do it. I haven't done this one. He's a really good forward dash, but his back dash is kind of sick. Fuck. It's trapped a little bit. Yeah. I'll blame I'll blame all that. How do you feel about the fierce? I that training mode. <laughs> like what's block, the poor block, fierce has block, priority, right? Because it's a fierce button. Block everything, block, okay. block. Let's you go can guys. Basically yes. do a jump hit combo. Now if I miss this. Alright, stand up. Oh, oh see, yeah, I'm dead. Do it yeah. too early. Okay. I think I'm dead. Right. Let's, try, let's, just try, let's try doing the combo. Okay, let's see here. Uh... Right. So I'm gonna that's just not, use... that, that will never work in the corner. Yeah, I want to do like... Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, that's crouching fears, probably. I mean, okay, let, let's say you mess up the... the, the uh... Off the wall jump, let's say you mess up the hit. Even with that, look at the stun in the damage. Yeah, it's crazy. He has insane stun damage. I think it's like, what is it, 50 something? 52? 50, yeah, something crazy. Yeah. 52 damage or something. Like Alright, so I'm gonna go see if I'm using ranked. And yeah, see what I can do. <laughs> see what I can do. Let's go Chuan. 300 bucks, right? That's not too shabby for high school. 
Oh, what kind of high school you go to, man? How many kids carrying all that kind of cash? <laughs> Rank matches. New rival. A new rival? Yeah, I fought the guy a long time ago. I haven't seen him in a million years, though. So. I'm playing Clever Pig. So I'm plus on block on almost everything I do. So I have to. If they block my attack, I can keep up the pressure. But I have to be careful I don't get parried, though. I mean, if you think about it, Dingen's not really rolling the dice. It's more like it puts the pressure on the other player because if you get hit by a couple random hits, then the round can be over. All right, all, all, all right. For a player, they just need two good guesses, two guess parries. The round's over. Or if they hit you with two random, let's say random short, random tops, right? A couple random hits, the round's over. So if anything. The pressure is not on the Dinja player, it's on the player playing against it because the person might play jungle style, you know, they might play wild. And that makes it even more dangerous because you don't know what's coming out. Part of the They get scared to press button. How do I defend against this? Should I hit him right now? No, he might I'm sure he um that they take a mind to. Dinjin's very scary. I would say Dinjin Ryu is definitely high mid. Without that super though, he just made it. Thank you for the Whisperer bootcamp. I'll check that out when the stream's over here. This guy definitely, I think he's Japanese. Got a really terrible connection. Really terrible. Oh god, yeah, look how fast that is. Jesus. <laughs> he's, he's definitely Japanese. Playing Dudley too? Ugh. Not gonna be able to see anything. Oh, what the f? They're both back. It's okay, so I'm not gonna be winning any of these tonight. I just wanna get some practice with real opponents. I felt like I did pretty good there. Put on a couple pokes there, helped me fill out my standing strong spacing. That sounds pretty simple, Chuan. I kinda like the sound of that game. I feel dumb. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, you. You guys need to watch like higher level play. They, they're, 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 it's not. It's not even flipping. I'm telling you, dude. It's like, okay, the way you play Dinjin is like you build some meter, right? You just throw out some pokes. I throw a standing roundhouse. I just throw some sweeps. I just throw out some stuff. You know, if I hit the other player, then it puts the pressure on them because the stun bar goes up. I almost have a Dinjin, so all I need is one knockdown, and then I can activate it, or I can set up the Dinjin to where it puts them in a block. You know, stuff. And then the red carry out or something. It's so scary. You guys gotta watch like higher level. You might watch some people that play Dinja, they do random shit. I mean, it does still work, but higher level, man. It's not oh man, it's gonna have 550 ping. The mad hater. It is not flipping a coin, dude. Dinja's scary, dude. Dinja is mad scary. No, I want uh, Ryu, not Alex. I don't want Shinku a Doku. I mean, you, you could say trying to parry the Dinge in his heads or tail because you don't know when they're going to release it. That, 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 that's what makes it so frightening. So guess it, when they release it. That But Dinjin's only relevant against certain characters, right? Like, you can't use it against Gang. They use an SA2, they can do the super as the high frame, they'll go underneath the fireball, you know, they'll go through. You know, Hugo's hammer frenzy will go through. Gully's uh, rocket uppercut, SA1, will go through. Uh, Abuki can slide underneath, you know. Even Yanni can just normally roll. So certain characters you don't want to use the Din Dinjin. Oro, he has double shot. He has the chicken stomp. You know, he can escape. Certain characters start to use SA1. <laughs> Victor had a revelation that he needs to practice a Shoto to get more familiar with the game as far as fundamentals and stuff. 
And then from there, he might, uh, he might go back to Alex. Or that? No, he might. Yeah. I'm probably gonna play Alex. I think I'll Alex to be my main. I can't. <laughs> this guy, his connection is godlike. <laughs> Ooh, look at that punish. Yeah, just walk with all your Pulse round taunt, I like it. A good game, Kronos. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of that. Alright. That guy's definitely real strong. <laughs> <laughs> Lost to a Ken player. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I lost in the tournament. Yeah, I lost to a Ken player. Yeah, that guy was really strong. Aaron Solon. When I, first... I was wondering who that is. I don't... Yeah, apparently he's, a, he's in Lansing. He's with me here. Is he the uh, the white guy? Kind of red hair? Kind of. Tall? Yes, kind of... yes. I know. Okay, I know. Yeah, first when I lost, I was like, and I could have beat him. And I saw him fight Vince, and I was like, that guy's really fucking strong. <laughs> that guy's definitely a very really good Ken. Kind of what are you he wouldn't play me then. He was here and he wouldn't play me on the, uh, the cab. I was hoping he'd jump on. He oh, okay. He was just watching. Oh, man. Oh, if they would have had it on Saturday. I would have played something. Scum. Make boot camp proud. <laughs> oh, I got it. My sweep's not safe, right? I gotta throw it out there. As a dick. That's cool though. So I'm just using it for practice. You know, uh, I heard from sources also, uh, pretty much, I, you know, supposed to be on Saturday. You know, some of some, uh, some others too, but the same, same thing, but you have to be on Sunday. I had work Sunday night, so I flew back at like 3, so I, I missed it. I played it. Uh, a little bit aggravated. Spending that money to go out there and do nothing. Let's play on the, the cab out there. Although it was Octodon, it was still on the back one. But um, the cab was fun. Because being really aggressive, you know, he's Ken, that's what he does, he's very aggressive, he's very laggy. I can't play neutral, because I can't see any of his buttons. So, how does Ryu go in? There's a corkscrew blow. Yeah, yeah, this is my first day playing Ryu, I have no idea what I'm doing corkscrew. I'm going for a lot of sweeps because that's all I know how to do as Ryu right now. You gotta use that crouch forward. Yeah, I need to get within range of the crouch forward. No, I'm not going to go boot camp. I, I really want to boot camp. I really do, but I'm not going to. This is my week of Rue. I, already I sealed my Alex. If I go back to Alex for a sake, I'm salty. That's not a good look. I just got to hold that. Uh, you hit that cross forward, you can do EX huddle. And that's a knockdown. It's going to send him flying across. Okay, okay. 
Yeah, I need to get in the, in the close. I need to walk forward. Instead of just being full screen and parrying and stuff, I need to walk forward and parry his fireball and stuff. Tricross right. lost his match for third place to Hugo, got chipped out by Ultra. While I was, he was on a Magic Pixel and Ultra. I mean, you're talking about Street Fighter 4? <coughs> oh, Let's see, multiplayer, ranked. <laughs> Boot camp being more salty for me. That's what I'm saying. So I'm pretty salty, guys. I, I want to go back to Alex and body him, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to play Al any Alex this week, no matter how bad I get bodied as Ryu. Maybe use overheads. Or that, well, he's, he really wakes up with that sure you a lot. I could just wake up and block, too. It's okay. I'm going to try and move in. I'm going to try and move in. I'm going to try and uh, so walk toward and use my crouching forward more often. Pun I need to punish this stuff, too. I need to punish it with back with standing fierce into EX Jodan. Start, uh, start anti-air. I can't. Start, 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 I can't see him when he jumps. He jumps in, do standing roundhouse. See how he handles it. Try, try it a few times. He starts parrying it, then, you know, mix it up. Crouch fierce. You know, do EX DP. You're gonna start knocking off the air. There you go. Oh, you almost had a combo. Yeah, that's good time. There you go. No, I got an EX, I want EX. I want it regular. Okay. Prepare to strike now. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> now we play some street fire. Ooh. He's got the one frame sweeps, man. So strong. Yeah, yeah, it, it looks fast. Remember when you when you're that close, like at that, start jumping in more. You see how you can sweep up from that distance, and start jumping in. Okay. He's looking for you to stay on the ground. Okay. You have to hit the last. Uh, the last little bit of the top of that. Mainly crouching is easier, but I mean, you can't do stand up. Tight. But it has to be the last hit. The top of the Who says, um, maybe it's overheads. Yeah, yeah, that worked for me, Corkscrew. You're right. Not even for Salty. The guy never wants to play me. He needs someone to body him for me. Why won't he play you, Bootcamp? I'm like fighting a chum. <laughs> Ooh, this is good practice, go. though. This is good practice, let's though. Go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> says, thank you. Yeah, I didn't really body him. I just kind of got a lucky win there. But uh, it was good, though. I started to think more and more about how to play. Got some punishes. Again, if he hadn't had that one frame sweep, I would have definitely had no problem. It's that one frame sweep that was a real killer there. I, I, I think that counts as body him. How, how long have you been playing with Ryu, right? Yeah. That, he's been, he's, that guy's been probably using Ken forever. Yeah, if I, if I could play Alex, I'd really fucking body him, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Without doubt. That counts as body. You, it's kind of like your secondary character. You have to play with that much. 
No combo. I don't want to use. I don't want to use fireballs as like a poke yet. Ooh. Good kid, Jacobo. I want to bring roundhouse, not moving kick. Fighting your opponents isn't about how hard you make his life bar drop, it's about how much you can BM him. <laughs> Why do I have only one bar of super? I'm using fucking Shinshiro? What the fuck? Oh, because I, I went to Super R2 for Boomerang Raid. Okay, I gotcha. Forward. I need a more crouching, standing strong maybe against Chun. Standing strong to beat her buttons when they whiff. Um, seems about right. Standing strong, not bad. I mean, it's Chun. Right. I'm, Chun's still Chun. But I feel like, yeah, should have tried counter poking a little bit. The, the whole key, the thing is, when you're a Shoto and you're fighting Chun, right? Right. Gets that super meter. You want to try to get some cheap, cheap, I call them cheap shots. Right. In other words, you want to get some sweeps, because they really hurt. Oh, and okay. most of the clipper off or counter is going to hurt even more. So um, just try throwing out a few sweeps, you know what I'm saying? Like maybe awkward timing. Okay. Try, try to get a little bit of cheap damage. Give them the caveats. Let's see here. That, that's actually a really good uh, strategy against Chumpy. It's kind of overwhelmed with a few sweeps, you know, get some... I, three sweeps, you almost do like 50%. You know? I want to react to some jumps here against Goki. But once she gets that, yeah, once she gets that super emo, <laughs> don't sweep. Cheap hits, cheap shots. Ooh, I find it hard to react to Goki's jump in dive kick with a Shoryu. It comes on, it comes on real fast. Yeah, yeah. I deserve that. Oh shit, too early. He is, they kind of floated down there like a fucking feather. Thank you, Audrey. Super banana goki. Hard to look at. I kind of like it. I don't mind it, Audrey. Bump my board. Alright. Hmm. 
Yeah, the the jump, he can dive kick. I know we can jump kick. It was a, like rollbacks maybe. We can really dive kick really close to the ground. Like he like, barely lift off the ground and then dive kick. Very hard to see. Probably a little mix of both. Probably makes him come down again. I guess if he's not coming down at a that parabola, it's gonna be hard to uppercut him. We've got Clazer. I want to know see Clazer. Shinku is what I want. I want all the meter. I'm gonna go with Ken here. Watch the sweeps. Especially. Oh, I want that. I want that. Jesus. Yeah, no crouch. Oh, he went through, went through mine? Woke up with a sweep and it worked. But I threw too late. I was trying to, do a, I was trying to throw him out of the wake up and he swept me. Like I said, all I stretch. <laughs> Use the lag with the sweeps. Well, I think it's got through my. I hit the throw too early. Welcome back to online music. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, in the corner, um, forward medium punch is really strong. Yes. Yes, yes. I need to make sure I punish. I, I keep going for my Alex punishes, where I do like my close beam kick into EX Fireball. I cut off my close beam kick into EX Flash Shop as Alex. But I need to do close fierce Jodan as my punish. If I get a Shoryu whips in front of me or you know lands in front of me, close fierce Jodan, and then you know whatever I want for my follow up. Or, or remember too, you can do close spheres into roundhouse tops, you know. That, that does a lot of damage too. Yeah. And Saves stuff. meter. I mean, you don't have, you don't have to always go for the yes, go down. If you if you're not comfortable, you want to easy punch. We got Sheen Bob Ross here. Got a really nice looking ping. I thought this guy was kind of oh, a long time. Oh man, the neck roll. Yeah. I like, I like I like him. I wish he'd join us. Yeah, I'm moving from my friends list because he's never online anymore. Oh, I got Shin Show again. Damn. Cause that's my that's my super art too. That's my boomerang rate. That's Alex. Is that mutant? Yep. <clears throat> okay, anti airs. Right. That's fine. So I don't want to use crouching forward or spacing. I want to use crouching strong or something. Color is sick. Oh. Is that chipper with that blouse and blocking? Okay. Okay. Hands up, you buff I've been, dude. <clears throat> Oof, I jumped on an accident. I'm gonna just stand block. Yeah, I totally understand, you buff. Totally understand. How you been, man? I should have just blocked a lot more. I mean, I'm kind of thinking about. I want to see how far my buttons reach, but. Um, at the same time, against uh, Necro, block. So the anti Shoto's alternate account. <laughs> uh, you know, I think it's a little worn down version. Please not like it. Unless he was that flying bike 
<clears throat> so this time I'm gonna block a lot more and then just put out Crouching Strong every now and then. Like when I'm feeling like I have a chance to breathe a little bit. Otherwise, just block. Right? I mean, let him come to me. Let him come to me. What's he gonna do? Oh, nice, E Boss. Glad you're enjoying Bloodborne. So Buka says she is good and got good sets with him yesterday. Good stuff. Are you ready? Go. Okay. Went for a power bomb there. Yeah. Okay. All right, I feel better about that. How do I get out of the corner is Ryu? I can slash out all his Alex when he jumps. Yeah, it's Tatsu, right? No, 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 it's Ken. Um, uh, Fierce Tatsu. This match, you don't want to Tatsu out because he can electric snake you. Okay. But I mean, normally you could you could uh, super jump out roundhouse Tatsu. Okay. It just, got, it just depends on who you play with. Oh, we got the Kimmix online. I wonder if he'd be insulted by. Nah, nah, I'm not gonna challenge Kimmix. <laughs> you better use the Alex for him. Yes, I'm not gonna waste his time. Last time I wasted his time, right? I messaged him about. Uh, I was like, I hope I didn't offend you if I was just doing something. We played Makoto, I just jumped and just empty jumped over and over again and then tried to throw him every time. And I wasn't, re I wasn't really trying to fight back at that point. I kind of gave up. He's too strong. Let's see here. Um, I just wanted to try and experiment with how to fight Makoto with empty jumps. I kind of used him as like a guinea pig. It's all kind of bad afterward. I don't want to fight him as Ryu. Alright. <coughs> question is, what is Kimmix doing on PS3 when he should be on Xbox? That's the real question. Oh, this is the guy at the top. Oh, I Wow, ban this character. <clears throat> Jesus. <clears throat> I don't want that. So what happens if you run into uh, Kimmix in rank? I'm going to fight him with, with Ryu. I'm going to play Alex all week this week. No Alex this week, okay. period. I'm not going to touch him, no matter what. Okay. No Alex, period. Even, even if Daigo asked you. No matter how salty I get, nothing. <laughs>
So I'm fighting these guys, man. Right in the salty wait, place. There's only one big. Dude, I whoop his ass at Ryu. That's what I would do. <laughs> He's free. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty salty. I'm ranked the salty place. I'm just gonna try to stay as Ryu and just try and hold it. Oh, I got Dura Lath. So Audrey says, uh, "Oh, let's go, Audrey." <laughs> that commercial bit. Mister, how come a switch? It's just, it's just, um, it's a week of Rue, dude. It was a event here. We funded at 600 followers. It was week of Rue goal. And I feel like if I don't play Ryu um, all week, if I go to Alex, I get salty. I'm gonna play nothing but Alex, right? I'm gonna nothing but Alex. So I have to play Ryu. If I'm gonna play him at all, I have to play him for a week straight. If I feel like if I'm, you know, I want to play, oh, I'm losing. Play Alex. I'm gonna play Alex the whole time. I'm always gonna lose. He's a new character. All right. Ugh. Oh my god. This is what Drudok be doing instead of fighting me in my lobby. He plays in ranked, picks on first day ruse. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to play Hugo, but I, I want to move up the tier list, not down. Ooh! Oh, I said he's not gonna like that. That's how I see that unfollow. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Who we got lined up next? Kid Jacobo again. This guy's uh, the Chumley player. Chumley player. Oh, no, no. Super Art 1. Rude. I'm gonna jump at this. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sandy. It's my first day is Rue. I'm going to lose to Jacobos, Moogles, whatever. Who has to show up? Whoever is around. Power bombs anymore. Final round. Is it Vince? I think he's pretty bad, like, right? though. Brings the Final Fantasy aspect. I'm guessing that's where, that's where his tag came from. That could be. Oh, well, that's 
Of that. How you doing, Vince? What's your day been so far, dude? Okay, I didn't need the EX though. I could have just used Fierce. <coughs> no, why not? Why not use EX? I would have more iframes if I had been late. Vince is very. And me too, dude. Me too. I'm fucking totally. I'm plum tuckered out, dude. I'm officially plum tuckered out at this point. Bob Ross again. Should have more EX fireballs. Oh yeah, but it was Chun Li though. He, he's proved he can he can uh, super through those. But you maybe mean in general. You're right. I mean, I don't need super for anything, right? I don't need super for anything. You're right. Just throw some EX fireballs out there, man. Make him respect it. We're playing Rue now, dude. This is that week. That's what Vince, that's what uh, Kyo says. It we have some really sick combos. Okay. How do I punish Necro's um, hit grab as rude? You can uh, you can super it if you're close enough. Well, obviously, yeah, you can be close enough. You can save one super it. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Okay. I wouldn't go for an EX fireball. Probably sweeps his Vince. I don't know. Maybe it, was, like, it might hit his arm, but he hits pretty far away. Yeah, it's definitely very minus. I want that. Oh, shit. I wonder how fast EX Fireball is compared to regular Fireball. I know it's definitely faster. Yeah, I'm wrong about that. Maybe it's not faster. EX. Oh, yeah, it comes out only one frame faster. Okay. So, like, it seems like it's faster. It hits a, it goes across the screen faster. That's why it feels like a better punish. Okay. And it knocks down. Too. Yeah, and it definitely knocks down, which is nice. Hits twice, knocks okay. down. Hits up, Vince. So, I just wanted to jump on to say that one thing you can do in that matchup. Yes. Is sweep range. And just like fish for a toward parry, because if he, it's I mean, they push uh, stand fierce, 
you can like super from full screen if you get that parry. And he can't hit you with anything else from that range. You mean Shinku Adoken? Yeah. Okay. We got stun gun Alex here. You can hit it from a wacky range where you get like you get like fucked up combos if you get it. So I don't want to get my stun gun. I mean, they need to. Anything else, and it's good damage. Crouching fierce, I guess. But, but this is a new character, so I'll shut up about that. That's cool. That's cool. So it's, it's nice to hear. I might be able to implement. It. I feel bad you guys feeling tips, and I'm like I can't implement it. But it's always good to hear. If I just hear it, then in the future it'll come back to like you know back of my mind or whatever. I'll be like, oh shit. Punish lots of things. Stand uh, medium kick, like far medium kick, is really good against Alex. Okay. Why? To the range it hits at. Okay. Like you can, if he's doing his medium kick, you can counter poke him with it. Crowd strong is just fun. Alex, crowd strong blows it up. Do you and kick? Standing strong, I do I punish that with? I know that that's not safe. I play out. Oh, you mean I dashed into it like a dummy. Don't <laughs> yeah, let's go with Kaz. Yeah, so I think it's a good time to do this, right? I feel like, especially the tournament, I wasn't really proud of how I performed the tournament. Uh, because I really went really you gimmicky mode, right? Fuck at that tournament. I went really, really gimmicky. I think this is a good time to go to Ryu and to, you know, get my fundamentals nailed down a little bit, then return to Alex in a little while, and, uh, you know, re-examine the game, especially. But yeah, thank you, Kaz, yeah. Let, let the man feel himself for a little bit, man. He did well at the tourney, let him feel himself for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Only been a day after him. It's time to go to rear because he's awesome, but you played good as fuck in that tourney, dude. Thank you, dude. For the length of time you've been playing. I felt like I played very, very gimmicky. I, I enjoy the game the most when I play slow and deliberate, and that was not. That was a whole bunch of, you know, empty jump, Power bomb. Then when they're on the ground, mix them up with standing fierce and power bombs, and it got me a lot of mileage. I feel like if I played, oh, well, who am I playing? I'm playing Alex. Shit. What's up, buddy? That's please think about it. That's how Alex needs to play, though. You gotta play Grizzly. If you slow, the slower the pace is, the more you're gonna get trash. Don't do that. Like, they'll every character can outzone you. I mean, besides maybe a few characters, but other than that, you have to kind of take risks. You have to kind of get in there. Sometimes you gotta do, you know, like. Sometimes you gotta do random get celebrated, you know? Yeah, you go Are you ready? Go! Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait, what is this? What is okay. this? What is my- I got him by accident. No! Oh. It was bound no, to happen. Oh, what, no, oh, oh, oh. Do you believe it? Press, press it's bound one. to happen, alright? Press, press two if you salt. Two for salt, one accident. I already beat this guy, I beat him last time with Rue, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, I, want, I want to see his screen. Let's see, see those numbers. I'm pretty sure I beat this guy as Rue. I, I, feel, I feel kind of guilty because he wanted my Rue, right? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> I didn't mean to well, beat him and then switch. When you only play the same character for a year, you'll just accidentally autopilot yeah. on the character select screen. I do it all the time. Yeah, I got, I got, I keep getting uh, Shinsho as well. I keep autopiloting to, to Boomerang Raid instead of, even though I want to uh, Shinku. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kat. That's what I'm talking about, Kat. I think you, you know what? Got enough of this reuse shit. <laughs> oh, you yeah, missed a whole lot of buff. You know how it is here. We stream for 40 hours a week. All kinds of cool game. We finished Final Fantasy Tactics recently. We're moving to Demon Souls starting tonight. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So we just got back from Michigan Masters. I had a lot of fun there. I met uh, Decoy Mandis and Crime Alley. Of course, I got to hang out with Vince and Rick and Steve and Dave, which is always fun. The PGN guys. 
But it's really cool seeing Decoy the first time and hanging out with Crime for the first time as well. Oof. So he's like, who's Rue? So okay, here's Grace I'm gonna pick him Ryu against, against this guy. So Ryu. Um, this guy seems like he's soft to forward medium punch, or toward medium punch, because he likes to crouch block after he does like his slash elbows and stuff, as uh, Alex. He's gonna go with uh, Yuri this time. Got a Juna 2 online. Then got a real shot at getting second in that tournament that was one hell of a... Thank you, Yeah, Vince, I felt like... Uh, I didn't think about that fight I had with Vince. I think I definitely need to practice more against um, Oro. Oh, shit! I mean, you'd like want to run a set Yes, I'd love to, but again, I, I, I have to play Ryu for a week. Too. That's what I was thinking. I would like to challenge you some sets. But I feel like you, you play different fight. online. We can run a set with Ryu. That matchup's yeah, really annoying. The, 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 they actually have a same Ryu character in second. Uh, Roger. Yeah, he'll punish. Oh, he's playable. Oh, he's trying to take in a power. I know, you, I know you crack, I know you crack in a joke, but second has a same Ryu character. Oh, fuck! Uh, alligator, too. No, it's uh, not an alligator. A raptor. Sorry, raptor. Well, I call him Rue because, uh, Seth Killian says that, and I thought it was funny, and it's one of those things where I started saying it as a joke, but now, oops, I accidentally just say that. It's not a punish. Oh. oh, look at Juna. Juna got the hunger. Yeah, I felt like that Ken player Aaron Silva, that I lo or Aaron Solon I lost to, um, I should have won that match because he didn't know how to deal with the gimmicks that I had going. He was kind of soft. I kept resetting him to powerbomb repeatedly. It was kind of nice. But uh, when I fought, when I saw him fight uh, Vince. I was like, this guy's real. Uh, this guy's the real deal. Big time respect for that guy. Aaron's pretty solid, he just doesn't yeah. necessarily know a lot of, like, really specific, uh, matchup stuff. Like, that he can punish, uh, several aura buttons on hit with a super. No sure you. Oh, I feel good about that. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry, Juno. I'm not running a lobby yet. Uh, probably, maybe not even tonight. It's already almost uh, 45 minutes to... Basically, I'm doing my week of Rue here. I'm trying to get some training in here with a new character. I'm not sure if we're going to get a lobby going or not. Um... Yeah, we have four yeah, minutes left. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, it's gonna be uh, two days after dark. Yeah, it's a mutable stream and have a lobby going. Yes. Kangaroos. So you have changed main to Dudley. After that one time I played with you guys. Oh, good stuff, dude. So I've been playing. You've been playing very often, or what? <laughs> yeah, it's my second tournament ever mutant. Yeah, my first time entering singles. I feel like I would have done better if I had rented a room there, or stayed with the PGN guys, or stayed with Kale, or stayed with somebody. Because I think that what really weakened me with all the driving. The driving really fucked up my, uh, fucked up my mind state for playing. Yeah, let's go, Juna. So I want to see you destroy Mutant and kill all these guys at 3S After Dark tonight. Twitch.tv slash Mutant Experience. Oh, I don't want that. Oh, 
Oof. Do you want to play Night E-Buff? I mean, it's a match if you want. Help me practice my Ryu a little bit. I went for the Alex car grab. Here's a Ryu one. Ooh, car grabs! Okay, here we go. Jump at me. Oh. Okay, I was not safe. Whew. I'm sorry guys, again, I know the commentary is kind of suffering today, so I'm really exhausted from Michigan Masters, and I am trying to really laser focus, because this is a new character. There's so much to learn, so much to think about. I feel like I'm starting to kind of loosen up a little bit. In terms of, uh, you know, I'm starting to get a little bit of fluency, right? Like, my hands are, I want something that's coming out. Even though I'm still definitely um, not playing totally all there. Okay, so who wants some more? I'll make you be buff. If you guys don't already know, my friend Mutant streams Third Strike um, two nights a week at least, Monday and Wednesday, sometimes on Friday as well. On Monday and Wednesday, he streams at around 11.30 p.m. Eastern, around the time when the stream ends here for Third Strike. And he usually runs a little lobby there on PSN. Get some sick matches, some very strong players. Sometimes got some commentary, sometimes not. Sometimes it's kind of chill. Sometimes it's kind of like, uh, like atmosphere. I definitely recommend it. More PSN 3S for your face. This guy looks like he might be Japanese. Yeah, maybe. I do her last chun. If you're pretty strong, there's a lot of characters. Oh, I don't want Alex. Right, Ryu, Shinku. I'm on player one side, okay. You know what, Denjin. I'm playing kind of defensively. I can't see anything he's doing. Facing there. Doing some lag gimmicks. Let's go boot camp. Took a win off Duralath. That's no small feat. Oh, shit. Whew. 
Was man für Alex Rose ist, schon? Someday I need to hit someone with a uh, six punch. That would be one, two, three, four, five. So it's forward um, punch, crouching light punch, Shinku Tatsu. Hmm. Thank you, Audrey. Holy shit! That's a lot of fucking bits, Audrey. Damn. Throw a mule kick. Wow. Will do. For that, for 500 bits, I'll throw a mule kick for you. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. See, mule kick is kind of unsafe. I'm trying to avoid unsafe specials for my first few days. Like, I don't want to wake up with the uppercut too much. I don't want to do just raw Jodans. I feel like I want to earn those over time and try and use them sparingly. But you're right. I should probably find out the spacing, how that works. Crouching only combos, huh? In this game, if you guys are new to Third Strike, this game has a special um, frames on when you hit crouching opponents, you get extra advantage and damage. Ooh. Thank you, Audrey. I'll get some food with that later. So, oh, do you know about Ryu's throw into Shin Shoryu against Dudley? Uh, I think I've heard of that. Unless you mention it, I didn't. I wasn't thinking about that, but I think I've heard of that. Yeah. Game says invite me. Uh, why don't I fight BM in some kind of sets, huh? Let's go to player match, create a match, eight private slots. So if BM's thirsty to get some matches in, I definitely would like to play him. Yeah, we got half an hour left. I'm gonna invite everybody. I've got a lot of good practice today. Let's go with. I'll invite Kimmix as well. I don't want to invite Kimmix. I'll wait till you have a bigger lobby. Invite Boot Camp. Invite Duralath. We got LaRusso Stomper online as well. This guy's been very gracious with me talking to me on Twitter lately. Juna might want to get some. Uh, own some people here. Quest One's online. Stomper. Also got wolf eyes online. I'm pretty sure I invited Duralath already. I'm gonna invite Kimmix and I'll be a BM in here at least. Maybe those two would enjoy fighting each other. Alright. Uh, in, a, in a just world, Ryu could do that on the entire cast. <laughs> Throw into Shinsho. <laughs> Just get free Shinsho on any blocking opponent. Can you imagine if you didn't have a tech roll? You'd get it every time. I wish BM would play Yurian. Be a free uh, super. Uh -uh. Game says no mercy. I'm gonna go straight to that dud. Oh, you playing Rue? Well, Catch these gloves, son. Yeah, so Audrey misses that second impact, Sean. Back when Sean was the rule in the roost. Right. So, Dudley. He's not blocking his feet. Maybe low forwards. I want to throw his duck unders as always. He even upper uppercut them probably. That's fine. That's fine. I'm in the corner. Oh shit. Oh, I swear it's locking down. Okay. Oh, it's gotta be cool to sweep. It is faster than, than uh, Isle to sweep, but it's still unsafe, especially against Dudley. Wow, look how he is. He looks like he's fighting from Japan. Yeah. Can't guy jump in combo on him. <laughs> His walk back and forth is like he's ducking on me constantly. You're gonna have fun tonight, you uh, uh, be, be Yuri and night. Fight live with lag. <laughs> Oh, 
Ooh, let's go. Heart says yes. Got that donkey kick. Yeah, thank you, Audrey. I appreciate that. But you have no idea. I have to load off my mind. So 100 bits is for me is a lot of scratch. So Vin says, sweep can be safe if you place it right. But that's at, like, the exact range that he wants to jump in your face with a fierce punch. Exactly. That's what I'm thinking, yeah. That's the same problem with Alex. I think it's part of uh, Dudley's, you know, his, his game. Is his jump is at right angle. It's that perfect arc where he wants to, you want to do it right where he's, excuse me. He wants to do it right where you want to sweep. So if you sweep, you get to punish. So now we got Yurian. I think uh, B must be watching the stream. So who's this Yurian? Juna's Yurian, huh? As I recall, Juna impressed me with his Yurian last time. Okay, control in the corner with standing fierce. I like that. Because, oh shit, it's realized I finally made rank 32. Let's go, boot camp. Rank 32. I like it. I love it. Right, let's go! Good round for BM and for uh, Juno. Honestly, BM picked this to round three. All right, they gotta be careful with those tackles, man. That shit ain't safe. Right, but hey, it gets a lot of mileage, though. Let's go. Get that round three. Oh my god, just using the shoulder! To the hold his shoulder. Okay. Now Juna has the corner, how's he gonna utilize it? Tries to go for an unblockable, fucks it up. Good block and BM. Wow, good space on the standing fierce. Oh my god, the fierce. Yo. I think he's a W player, man. It's in that fierce button. Um, I practice mode very, very little, Vince. Very, very little practice mode. Yeah, I, I play. Most of my learning is not even based on play. It's mostly based on things that I hear, tips that I hear, and. When the stream ends, I like lay in bed and I think about it and I like, play out matches in my head. <laughs> That's where most of my experience comes from. I wish I could play. I'm, I'm trying to play more often, you know, lately. I'm trying to get more games and some more sets. Maybe not host a, you know, a three hour public lobby, you know, every day we play. Um, instead, try and get some more games myself, which, um, it's, you know, it's got its pros and cons. But I feel like getting in more games lately has made me feel stronger. But yeah, I wish I had more time for practice mode. Some say I should practice on stream, like just run practice mode some days on stream, but that's not really my style. So if I was, you know, if I wasn't, you know, streaming for 40 hours a week and then working for another 20 when the stream's over, I think I would probably practice mode more off stream. Like I really want to practice, like for instance, I'd be training mode, uh, I would do like uh, Alex's um, parry, medium punch, you know, EX Ernie Smash as an anti-air option. That's something that I feel like I need to just practice, like, get it in my hands, right? Like, make it a reflex, make it, you know, unconscious, make it uh, muscle memory. It's those things that I feel like I really fail at, the muscle memory stuff, because I don't have as much time to go and just fight, you know, a training dummy and just do it over and over and over and over and over. I could just stream that someday, just have a dummy jump at me and then just have me do that, you know, for an hour and a half or whatever, or an hour. So I feel like I don't think I'd really be into that. Now. Look at a lot of frame data. Try to figure out what's possible and why things are working the way they're working. Makoto is definitely my most hated character in this game. I've been getting stronger as Tabuki, right? I feel a lot stronger as Tabuki than I ever felt. But Makoto, I still, I really, really hate Makoto. Hate her playstyle, hate everything about her. Vince says, dude, fuck Makoto. So I say this every single stream, right? I say it every, sing every single stream, but her Karaksa is 7 frame start. So her dash is 12 frames. That means in 19 frames, you can dash from half screen and Karaksa you. And online, that shit's invisible. And I said, uh, Chun Li's flip kick, where she'll brrrr and hits you. Um, that's 22 frames. Which means that if you're not parrying that every time, you're not going to react to a dash of Karaksa. So Vincent, I played Kyo's Makoto this weekend, and it felt as bad as you would expect. 
Yeah, <laughs> I think Kyo is definitely the kind of guy that would be rewarded for playing Makoto because he's so Yomi centric, right? Kyo knows what you're gonna do. I think Makoto probably gets more mileage out of that than anybody. If you can get a good read on your opponent, man, get so much fucking damage. That was fun though. Makoto versus Ken, we had, we had a nice little set. That was fun. Alright, so I want Rui. Shinku. If I throw fireballs, you can't dash up. The Octo Gate, yeah. The Octo Gate was fucking disgusting. I can't miss it, like, going to the. I want to say going, yeah, going to the left. You see a lot of, like, just, uh, like, updates and stuff. Fuck it. The angle I was sitting, like, you know, because the Octo Gate fucking hit. But it was still a cat up, so. It's one of those things. So yeah, I wanted to dude. smash in that corner so bad. The thing is, I kept, I kept feeling a corner, so in my mind I felt like I was blocking when really I wasn't. I could have put out, I should have put out more strongs in general, crouching strong, standing strong. That way I can keep her from dashing at me without being as unsafe as I would be, you know, throwing a fireball or jumping. Right, that way I could still recover in time to block an aerial. Stay at the range where she wants to dash at you and put out strongs. It would probably beat her crouching medium kick too a lot of the time. Got BM versus Juno. BM having a pretty shaky connection tonight, it seems like, which is kind of a drag. So we got the mirror match again here. Yurian versus Yurian. Get to die. To strike. Now. Kill. Right. So now Juna has to, excuse me, no, no, BM has the corner now. Doesn't really utilize it. Going for some BM uh, so from W parries. Alright, I like this so far. Cancels his uh, launch. It's not safe. That wasn't a punish, though, I don't think. Throw him. There we go. Give him his own Aegis. How about that? Dashes into the Aegis anyway. Okay. BM loves that standing fierce. The X headbutt on wake up. Alright. The X tackle. So I've heard from mutants before that EX, uh, excuse me, the tackle in general for Yurian is a pretty strong anti air. It's like, especially when in the corner. It controls so much. It's so active, right? It's very, very active. Real nice hitbox. I wonder if BM's gonna ever block. So he's not playing Dudley anymore, but he's, his playstyle is still, you know, he's applying a lot of offense. Alright. At the corner. Doesn't have any meter for Aegis, though. I dash out, dash back in. Online stuff. Lots of throws. I like these, uh, this Nage. It's basic on that Fierce there. Good blocks. Ooh, it jumps over somehow. Boom. Good game, Juno. You Ryan. Time we got the boot camp here. Alright, 
boot camp click. Uh, that would be Chun Li versus the Junior. Probably playing Makoto, I would think. I think you'd pick Yurin against Chun. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna go with uh, Ryu though. Big lag spikes. No punish. Alright, he sees a throw, he's still airborne. He's gonna get the throw he wants. There's a little punish there on the Tatsu. Keeps him in the corner. 50 50s. Ooh, what the fuck? Missed something there. Oh, three pieces farther than a crouching uh, medium kick? I didn't know that. I could throw a skip there from boot camp. Crouching medium kick. The god button. Let's see if boot camp can come back from this. Alright, reset some potential Kodaksa, kind of like what I do with Alex. I don't have a Kodaksa, I have a power bomb. Okay, wow! Holy shit, those wolf eyes mashing right there. Maybe Blue Camp got possessed by Wolves for a second there. Dashing underneath the, uh, behind the fireball. Good cross up. I could try that. Part of, uh, Ryu's offense is crossing out. Praising the grabs. Wake up super. Now he can chip at will. Doesn't have any meter yet, though. There we go. Didn't need to chip. So I'm thinking, like I said, Strongs. Just counter poke. Let's put out Strongs. He's gonna go Yurian? Okay, I feel good about that. Even as Ryu. But I might, uh... I feel like I've got a chance here at least. If I block a tackle, I'm gonna need to fierce uppercut. That's what I think. He's sweeping a lot. I don't know how to punish his sweep. Final round. Now. You're gonna sweep. I think I I must probably have to sweep it because Alex. Excuse me. Uh, uh, I don't know. He hits it from pretty far though. Yeah, I think Alex can just barely ex slash elbow it. 
But I'm not sure if Ryu has that kind of punch with that kind of range. That's a privilege I took for granted there as Alex, that I have this like long range punish. I might be able to counter sweep it in many cases. Maybe hit his limb, maybe hit his foot while it's retracting, right? Maybe it's actually got a farther hitbox and it looks like a hurt box. Excuse me. Got crimes colors. Why are you standing strong sometimes, not causing strong? Okay, hit a button there. He parried him up for diagonal. He must not have wanted that. Parry into diagonal fireball. That. I didn't know I was that close to him. Sick. <laughs> so I think I punished that with crouching strong. I punished Yurian's crouching fierce with Ryu's crouching strong. Good game, BM. Okay. Crouching forward, I had to really, I don't know. I think I would prefer to counter poke. So I need to really get better at standing strong. Just standing strong, put it out there, man, just put it out there. Just put it out there, don't be self-conscious. Just hit that button sometimes, just tap it. Makoto, don't you turn up? You can punish Yuri's sweep with fierce high up. Here. Ryu can't punish Yuri's sweep. Ken can super. Button, yeah. Ken can do oh, SA3 if he's close enough. Too bad. No, 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 he can't do very well. Chun-Li, Ken can, uh, take a vote. Yeah. He had two frame, uh, two No, uh-uh. 
Shinku doesn't do damage as a super. Um, mainly SA1 user, they use, they use it for the meter. EX Hado, it's kind of like fireball pressure. It helps with spacing. Um, you definitely want to use it for EX Jodah. Get the those kind of combos. That hurts. Super is not really that relevant. It doesn't do that much damage unless you can like, you know, crouch state. That'll do some damage. Otherwise, it's really not that much good. Use it. I mean, basically, his, his EX showdown combos and all that do a hell of a lot more damage. Yeah, I think the reason I picked Shinku is because when I watch Ryu play, I think that the way I want to play Ryu, there's many styles, of course, but I want to just throw EX Fireball. That's my, my game plan. EX Fireballs and jo EX Jodon. Like, the, for me, Super is not, has no appeal. I, I don't yeah. like the, the aesthetic of it. I don't like the way it looks. But the only yeah. super I like of his is um, Shinsho, but only one bar doesn't really fit my playstyle. I want to just throw EX Fireballs constantly. That's the way I want to play Rue. SA1's just like a spacing. It's, a, it's a, more like a spacing tool. How do you mean? You use EX Fireballs. You, like I said, you yeah. apply pressure or help spacing. And, uh, How are you doing, K-Rike? Welcome aboard, homie. But Dengen, Dengen is definitely the super you want to take for you yeah. to the next level. That brings him to a higher tier. Yeah. Uh -huh. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm finding that the thing I missed the most while playing Alex is EX Slash Elbow. That's the thing I missed the most. There are times where I feel like as Ryu I should just hold this block pressure if I'm not going to try and parry out. I mean, I guess I mean that's what uh, Uppercut's for though, right? I love Red Swarm. But I don't want to use that that way yet. I want to play, I'm going to try and play without too much Shoryuing this week. Then as I get better at Rue, maybe start implementing a little more Shoryu. Yeah, EX Slash is safe on block though, of course. Yeah, let's go k -Rike. So where are you at right now? The, the, your friend's garage or something like that, k Or a bar or what? So Vin says, uh, my question about Venka's EX Fireball was secretly a question about if I should spend more bar. I think you're playing Shinku, my feeling is that you probably want to spend bar. And I, I want my bar to be used for EX Jodan for punishes, and um, again, sh fireballs, EX fireballs to control space a little bit. De de definitely use the meter. Now, I'm not talking about you do a full screen EX, you know, fireball. Don't right. do that stupid shit. But, you know, use it for like the pressure, you know, maybe uh, create a little bit of space. You know, use it accordingly. But don't just throw a full screen shit. My fantasy is to use it as a poke, man. That's my ultimate fantasy. I want to be right outside of my foes, like, you know, range of their buttons, and then throw an EX Fireball to stop them from hitting a button, right? And to catch their buttons on startup. That's what I want to do, man. That's what I, I want to play Ryu. Of course, man, of course, dude. Yeah, I mean, do you want to make your own lobby? Like, it depends. If, you, if, you, if private's okay with you, then I'll invite you. If you'd rather have a public lobby, then maybe make your own invite me. Because we've only got two more minutes left here for uh, Venkabot 3S. Yeah, so, you might as well. So you might as well just make your own mute, and that way you can be the, the host of it and boot people if you need people. But you're not really a booting kind of guy. I'll invite you, of course, but if you want to make your own invite me, I totally would uh, definitely join. Once this match is over, I'll invite you. That reminds me, Mutant, uh, Kyo, thank you guys so much. k Reich, Kenny, thank you for all the tips over this past year. Like, it was, it really blew my mind these past few weeks how confident I feel sometimes. But I feel like at the tournament, I didn't feel that confident most of the time. But I still feel like, you know, when I'm playing, I'm thinking to myself, okay, now, what did Mutant tell me about this? And what did Mutant, what did Mutant think about this? Oh, Kyo went up like that. Oh, Kyo taught me this. It's like, it means a lot to me, guys. You guys are really patient with me. You guys give me the time of day. You guys understand that I'm kind of a slow learner sometimes. You guys have really helped me grow in this game a lot, thank you guys. So we must inherit the lot. Yeah, it is a private lobby, so. Probably four. Oh, I, I would make four. Four, four people. Yeah, four men's not that bad. I got some pretty good four men right now. He's gonna want to do it to where he, where he streams. He has really commentary for like you know forty five minutes, mm -hmm. just constant gameplay. Right. I think he's better have an open lobby. Yeah, I agree. Grab, grab you're right, Kyo. So that way you don't have to, you know, make sure you have some fresh blood. 
Otherwise, you're, you're stuck checking every 10 minutes. You gotta invite people, keep the stream, you know. So I'm gonna invite you just in case he wants to join this one. I'm gonna deny him that invite. Alright, let's see here. Uh, <laughs> high ranking. <laughs> high ranking. <laughs> Standing strong, man. Like Vince said, it's a good button. I put a look forward too. I can just put a look forward out sometimes. Like, reuse low forward is like Alex's crouch medium punch. Back to Miami. I don't like how uh, I don't like low strong as a block string really because they can period high or oh they can oh okay I didn't think about that yeah I think you okay right yeah standing medium kick is an okay poke yeah so what's the frames how does that differ between standing strong and standing medium kick let's see here. So strong, as uh, far strong, is five frames. Far um, forward is six frames. So I, I think that it hits a little bit further and costs one more frame. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I'm hitting a lot of crouching strong because I'm feeling like I'm playing Alex, right? And although crouching strong is a good counter poke, when they're got me in the corner, like under pressure, I think I'd rather just use like, you know, if I'm trying to poke my way out, Low forward, because it's further. Alex low strong is the same way. That's why I was buffering low period. And you know, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know that, of course. But I didn't know Ryu was that way. Oh, that was sick. I mean, it's a buffering low period against me the whole time, huh? <laughs> See, I always thought the weakness of uh, crouching medium punch was that, you know, they compare with a forward parry because people like a forward parry so much. But yeah, I guess Alex, I mean, what are you afraid of? I don't. I, all I get is a sweep. I might as well just parry low all the time. What's up, Gypsy? Oh, it really, went really well, dude. I had a lot of fun. I'm exhausted, though, man. I'm exhausted. I apologize again, guys, about the commentary being a little bit uh, heavy today. I am just beat up. I'm just totally beat up. But I had a lot of fun, though. No punish. Oh. EX Slash, probably. I wish EX Slash reached further, man. There's something about it, man. Something about the frame data, something about the, how slow it is. I mean, it comes out faster, it comes out fast. But for costing meter, it hits twice, which is nice, but I still wish it was a little bit farther. I wish it was, you know, as far as the fierce one was, or at least close. Like, when I want to watch Japanese players like Genki use it as a poke. It's tough, man. It's tough. They don't they don't get any mileage off it either. It's something they throw out there. It's not really a poke. So I think that Vince hit it on the head when he said that, you know, the EX slash as a poke is meant to hit a button. It's not meant to, you know, be aggressive. It's like a defensive poke. A defensive poke. And then I couldn't buffer it as much, and it would open up the match a lot. Yeah, about that spacing, I think it wouldn't hit. Spacing your hit, because basically, the way I see it, the way that you beat me, Vince, and the way that, you know, I've been beat by arrows in the past, 
is that the, the standing roundhouse and medium kick for Oro eat up all my buttons. Because yeah, he parried some stuff, sure, he parried some stuff. But I feel like the war that I lost was, you know, I can't hit me. I feel like my buttons got taken away, right? My buttons got taken away. Because from from your kicks. And I feel like the flash chop wouldn't have, the X flash chop wouldn't have helped me there as much because of the spacing I was doing it at. It's hard for me to get in close enough to get my EX Flash Chop. Because, yeah, in the corner, you know, the pressure, you could, you can, in the corner, if you were, you know, buffering, I could hit with EX Flash Chop. You know, if you have me in the, excuse me, if you have me in the corner. Damn, Courtney. Yeah, the buffering was definitely savage. One of my big weaknesses is, is when I'm in the corner, I don't really have the confidence to blow up a parry buffer, right? Like, it took me probably literally, I don't know, 30 straight matches with BM before I started to think to myself, okay, I know where he's buffering. I'm going to, you know, power bound him or whatever. As for, I don't know, again, against guys like you know, Kenny, I fought Kenny, right? Hit back fierce in his parry buffers. That was from months of playing Kenny. And then, uh, you know, uh, Rick as well, hitting back fierce to hit his parry buffers. But if it's like, you know, a first of three or whatever, or a best of three, the idea is still totally, I'm not there yet for my awareness, like my awareness of my opponent's strings, to say, oh, he's parry buffering after that. I can do something there that I wouldn't normally do, right? I could throw him or power bomb or back fierce or whatever. I'm not there where it's like, I can recognize he's doing that and that and then parry buffering, you know what I mean? It takes me a long time to see that pattern, like very, very, very long time. I, mean, I guess if you wanted to get crazy with it, you could have hit me with a Kara Power Bomb. Yeah. I don't believe in Kara Power Bombs. So that's a myth. Took me a long time to be able to do that too, to be honest. So I feel like you know, people that parry buffer against me are very strong because I feel like I have no recourse because the only recourse you have is to do something that would be nuts in any other situation. Right? Like when people are parry buffering, you have to do things that you would never ever do otherwise. See, it's it's a hard read, right? It's a hard read. One thing I found works well again in some matchups, against some players, I'd say, like player matchups, not character matchups. If the player is doing like, you know, uh, an attack and then a parry buffer, and then nothing, right? They, they, if they don't get a parry, they wait. Then I can delay my button and then, you know, try and put it out there at a random time. That will help me in those fights. But um, if I find an opponent that likes to hit a button and then parry buffer and then hit another button afterward, then I'm pretty fucked. Because then I'm forever under pressure until I can, you know, grab their parry buffer. Jeez. Oh my god. Sweep thank you, K Rag. I can punch those sweeps, huh? I can't see. No, sweet. Sweet. Be careful with those. Oh, can you get this tonight? Yo, Kenny, you want to play uh, afterwards? New stream more for us with a lobby. Okay, I saw the I saw the throw late. That's why I got the parry there. So I got parry. Final round. Go. 
Yeah, he's, yeah. he's parry buffing low a lot on wake up. A note with Rue, he takes extra blocks done while crouching. Oh, compared to other characters? Yeah, uh, Ryu, Q, and um, the third one. Uh, yeah, I was gonna guess Chun Li too, but I don't know. I don't know the third one is. I know it's Ryu and Q. I know those two for sure. Can you punish with low medium kick Tatsu? Right. I wonder. <laughs> yeah. I bet you I could. If so, tell him after EX Tackle to do Heavy Kick. I'm missing something from Juna. Is BM in the chat? I think BM might be in the chat. So what range is, is Crouching Beam uh, crouching Punch good against Yurian, k Rake? What am I thinking when I apply that? Boomerang Raid. Follow SSBM uh, La Resistance. We play Thursday here all the time. We play uh, on Monday through Thursday. On Tuesday for eight hours. Sick. I don't lose. That one was. That definitely was right there at the <laughs> end of that one, yeah. <laughs> there was one for you right there, man. Why pick Shinku Ryu when you can pick Denjin Ryu or pick Ken? <laughs> yeah, I like uh, I like Ryu. I don't like Ken. I don't like Ken's design. I don't like Ryu more. I like the idea of doing, you know, big time stun. I like the idea of, you know, having. That's like really. Yeah, Vince told me he must be a charge bridge in my stomps. I feel like I'm a million years from doing that. I tried doing it with Kill for like 45 minutes straight and I was like, nope. <laughs> Takes a lot of practice. A lot of practice. Once you find that charge timing. So Mew was playing uh, Yuri and Mew. 
You know what feels good? When you, uh, you parry with Yuri and you charge on uh, stuff like the same stuff. Uh, it's taco. You do parry, go into the taco, you get taco, and so you walk on the game. That feels good. Yeah. Standing fierce. You die. <clears throat> Are you ready? Go! Alright, jumps over, gets a throw. I can do the jump as Ryu too. You can jump medium kick. Good patience from Juna. Gets the corner. Puts an Aegis on top. 50 50s. It's a little bit early there on the overhand. Good blocks from Mutant. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay. Ooh. So Mutant's gonna get another Aegis here. Oof. Prince of Dash in. Long limbs. <clears throat> I'm gonna do one more fight here, guys. I'm going to call it a night for third strike. Play some Demon Souls for the first time. Of course, the party continues over on Mutant's channel. Twitch.tv slash Mutant Experience. That's a Mutant X. Like the X-Men. Mutant X. Experience. Go check him out for like Third Strike. He streams this game um, uh, two nights a week at least on Monday and Wednesday from 11.30 p.m. Eastern Time-ish. It's pretty nice. Very, very nice channel. Go check it out. If you're not already following, what's wrong with you? If you like Third Strike, you should be. I'll try to get that, that sick Q player to come play. Here's, oh, kill. I'm probably gonna rain check on 3S tonight. Oh, why is that, Kenny? Oh, what shit. happened? I'm really tired. Yeah, me too, Kenny. Right? Me too, dude. After my weekend with your masters, I like got nothing left. I just want to go to bed right now, to be honest. <laughs> it's time for Demon Souls. It's all good, gentlemen. As long as you come to do the Demon Souls. Let's go. And I would love to. I don't think because Mutant joined the channel right when Kenny left, basically. So I've not seen Mutant versus Kenny as much as I would like. Kenny got a life and Mutant started coming out here more often. What's CB, Vince? Counter Breaker, where is it at? Chicago. Chicago, oh! Okay, in May? Right now it's April 16th? Shit, dude, I might go to that. Is 3S gonna be there? Yep, 3S is there. That's where Grimlock got. Where did Grimlock go? Vince? Vince, it's an official game. Who's running it? Anybody that's, you know, I mean, like, I, I, if there's gonna be good casuals, I'll go. I'm not really interested in the tournament part of it. Now we're gonna go to TFC. Oh, TFC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's above my head right now. That's our current financial goal. I have every intention to go to TFC this year if I can raise money. I'm not sure who the TO is, but we had 56 people last year as a side tournament. Okay, it's for a third strike. Yeah, there's. I don't know the culture or anything, right? I don't know the culture. I was pretty confident going to Michigan Masters because I know it's uh, Poverty Game Night. But culture wise, like, I'm not sure if there's gonna be a lot of cab set up. How many. You know, am I going to be looking at games? My main reason for going would be to get offline games with people. Yo, let's go, Juna. So I'll see you there, Juna. So I'm going to try and bring Crime and Decoy as well. Oh, this will be, oh Juna's going again. That'll be his second year. Nice. That was my last match tonight here, guys. After this, I'm going to go um, splash my face, wash my glasses, try and wake up a bit for Demon Souls. Yeah, right, it's, uh, it's the Streamlabs link. Shit! Oh, I can't power bomb. That's crazy. That's all right. I don't feel confident. I'm gonna block. Don't do that. It's a bad habit. Whoa, that was sick. Controls the corner with the headbutt. Yeah, I think it's streamlabs.com slash think about it. Yo, Mutant, I got that Q player coming. Pretty sick. 
I'll invite him. I don't want that. Ian at a grim lock. BM. Why do you want to toxify the PSM? BM's toxifying the Twitch, the, the, uh... The PSN chat, he had a grim lock. Oh, I got you. Now you're gonna hear all kind of voice recordings, all kind of shit. With your soap opera. Ooh, tricky. Okay, deserve that. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> That's his thing, though. You like the voice. How long do people voice chat? I don't want that. I'm driving. I see somebody say something stupid. Or I have to comment. You know, I'll, I'll pop a voice chat. Oh, I want that! I wanted that fucking get fireball. Oof, I wanted the X uppercut there. It would have worked. Ah, it might not have worked, actually. You probably uh, did a safe jump there. Good game, good game. Yeah, 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 we can already. Okay. Oh, let's go, Vince. Yeah. I'll, uh, I think you're actually I'm not on my Facebook yet. But yeah, I can definitely add you there. Right, I'm going to ready down here. We're going to watch through BM, I think. And then we're going to move for Demon Souls. We get this sick Q in here. Let's go. Uh, he's, he's really good. I'll tell us. I feel already way more confident with Ruth than I did when I started the day today, so I'm looking forward to playing uh, um, more Ryu throughout the week. I feel like I need to definitely understand his... Uh, I feel like the biggest problem I have is if I'm too close to hit crouching medium kick, like within right inside of that range, I don't really know how to behave. Yeah, have a good night, K-Rike. Drive safe, man. Drive safe. Yep. Yeah, but Audrey, guys, if you're watching right now, if you go to, I think it's uh, below my stream, there's a big Streamlabs button if you're on desktop. Um, it's like a big piggy bank button. That's why I'm raising money. That's why I raise all the money for all my goals. Look above my head here. I have like a little goal bar that fills up. Um, I use that money always for something for bettering the stream or for something explicit. Whereas the, um, you know, the Twitch subs, the bits, and the um, Patreon support always goes toward buying me food and stuff. That's like for cost of living type stuff. But yeah, I'm looking for. We have uh, many months. It's in, uh, it's in September, so I'm gonna try and raise money for a trip out there, a trip back, and for lodging. Watch for now in Cooney's review. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. I feel like right now I'm really kind of enjoying playing him freestyle, like just kind of just kind of filling things out naturally. And then I think, you know, in a couple days I'll look up videos. Because I feel like if I look at videos now, I would lack context, right? I have no idea how it feels to be Ryu in these situations. So I feel like I wouldn't be able to parse what I'm seeing. Even if I could, it'd be, it'd be kind of overwhelming, I think. Yeah, I think I want to kind of feel my way around in the dark for a couple more days here. And then maybe, um, you know, I'm going to go check out some Ryu videos later on. So Vince, um, okay. Combo Breaker had a pretty big turnout for 3S last year, even though it was a side tournament. This year's going to be an official tournament. May. Final round, go. Maybe I'll ask Crime if he'll go out there with me. It's kind of a drag though because crime doesn't drive and I have to go north for an hour and a half to, to go pick him up. Well, I mean, uh, you guys could plan, he could probably take a bus to your place. Maybe. Pick him up somewhere closer. Though. Yeah, Vince, how many days is Combo Breaker? Thursdays through Sunday. 
So quite a few days in a row in May. That might be too soon for me. Yes, yeah, so my, my concern is not really with the tournament schedule. I just want to get casuals. So for me, playing offline is a rare privilege. So the idea of meeting new guys that play is pretty enticing. As long as there's cab set up, I'm down. But the thing is, it's of course, uh, you know, there's an issue of of cost. But I'll think about it though. I wish that if I had a little bit more advanced, uh, you know, if I was aware of it sooner, it'd probably be more realistic. Yeah, traveling to play really expands your game. It's weird. Yeah, I really enjoyed Michigan Masters, man. Yeah, guys, as usual, if you enjoy hanging out, want to keep the channel on, check out my Patreon page, patreoncom slash Read our books, huge help, man. I'm gonna buck on Patreons, it goes a long way to putting up food in my belly. Good for making the stream more sustainable. You can also, um, you know, subscribe on Twitch. You can, uh, um, you know, cheer, all the good stuff that's good for making the stream more financially sustainable. But if you're like me, you're totally broke, right? I've got a whole lot of scratch kicking around for no uh, financial support. Help for free in that case, you know. Get in the chat, come say hi. It's very, very helpful. Especially when I'm tired like this. I'm really drowsy today. Twitch chat's kind of helping me, uh, helping me get through the whole hosting part of the show. You can also um, follow on Twitch for free. Tell your friends who are here and save clips of highlights you enjoy, like funny stuff, scary stuff, sick combos, parries. Good for my break screens, good for highlight reels on YouTube, good for social media like Twitter and Facebook. I stream for 40 hours every week, so I don't really have time to go through that footage and try and find the highlights myself. I wish I could. But if you guys save them for me in real time, it's actually very helpful, very, uh, more so than you think, right? A lot of channels I find don't even use their clips, but me, I love those clips. I check them every night when the stream ends. I go through and pick them out, save them, and start thinking about how to use them for promo material. Um, check out my YouTube, cha uh, YouTube channel, guys. I have all of my past streams archived there in 1080p, 60 frames. They're not all public yet. Some of them are still in the vault. But it's a lot of fun. We put at least one video live every day. Um, and that's a lot of Third Strike, especially. We have um, also long plays of Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3 in playlists, of course. All my long plays are in playlists. As well as, um, you know, Bloodborne. we got Neo. That's all blind. We have some retros like Sonic the Hedgehog, Commander Keen, Metal Gear Solid, Dungeon of Dreams, you know, Super Metroid. All that good stuff, and more. We have a horror stuff, like uh, Dead Space and the Evil Within. Entire playthroughs on YouTube. Ooh! Mutants! Sick parry. We also have uh, you know, AAA stuff like GTA V and The Last of Us, as well as like uh, you know, indie stuff, like Dropsy, Tokitori, 20XX, and Omega Strike. And finally, we have uh, online games as well, like GTA Online, me and my friends playing, having a lot of laughs, as well as Fortnite Battle Royale. You can go watch me and Vince playing on there. That was definitely a good time. And um, Dungeons and Dragons. Me and my friends playing D&D. My first time playing D&D ever. It's archived forever on YouTube. I very much enjoyed that as well. So Vince says, um, uh, shout out to Juna2 for clipping the one time I successfully uh, did the unblockable loop at MM. Yeah. Oh, did you? Let's go, Juna. Yeah, Vince, you dropping like crazy, bro. Nerves? I was online here that shit really consistently. My heart uh, was bleeding for you every time that dropped. At Michigan Masters. Maybe you were like me and didn't have time to warm up or no time to eat and shit. Alto Pat Q. This Q is supposedly pretty strong, according to Kyo. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely Q. I can't believe how much uh, Crimes Q was beast at Michigan Masters, man. Like, oh my god. I mean, because he doesn't play him that often online, he plays mostly Yurian online. To be honest with you, this, this Q is better than Bob. Yo, I'd be crazy. I, I, I gotta see to believe it. This is a hard matchup anyway. He should lose this, but he might still win. Yeah, Vince, Crime is uh, the real thing. So I know Crime is a Yurian player who, who I also, you know, he's secondary Q. I knew he played Q, but I didn't know he played him like that. <laughs> I didn't know he played him like that. But yeah, Crime told me that he thinks of Mew as, uh, Q as being like his main, like tied with Yurian. He says he feels better playing Q than Yurian. He feels more natural playing Q than Yurian. Yeah, I really regret putting uh, Crime out of the tournament. I feel like if I had lost a Crime, Crime would have taken second place. Well, that was sick! Come on! Ooh! Yeah. Wow. So that is an overhead then. Let's go! No. Oh! Out! You hype, son. Not that round three mutants. Oh, that was nice, that was nice. Okay, round out, round out, round out, round out. Puts him back in the Aegis. No, too little bit too late. Ooh! Ooh, that was sick. Kipper didn't punish. Alright, neutral jumps. 
It's safe. Good confirm. Ooh, ooh, drops combo. Ooh, look at him go! Wow! That was very slippery. Yo! Okay. Yeah, I would have liked to have seen Vince in a crime fight. I right, big Leslie for mutants. Played a set. Oh, okay, good shit, mutants. I must have missed that one. Went to the last game, last round, it was really tense. So I assume that Vince won then. All right, I'm going to go on a very short break here, guys. Come back in a few minutes with some uh, Demon Souls. My first day playing blind playthrough, a uh, game that started it off for the Souls franchise. If you want more Third Strike, guys, don't go nowhere. Excuse me, uh, go check out Mutant Man. So the stream's starting right there, like right about now, I think, right for uh, the Mutant Experience. That would be able to yeah, put it in the chat right now, actually. Yeah. Let's see here. Let's go to uh, here. And, uh, oh, crime one for the record. Okay. Let's see here. So I'll say, uh, you know, coming up next on this channel is, uh, you know, Demon Souls. Check out even more Third Strike action live in a few minutes over on. Mutants page. So that I don't hit a button if he's not going to get hit by, you know, if he doesn't dash into a uh, roundhouse. Right? I have to jump straight up and then parry. Mm -hmm. Like that. Am I in Discord chat? Hey, what's up, Mutants? Alright. Have, have a good night, man. Have fun. See you tomorrow night, though. Yep. Unless I'm gonna hit him the game.
Look at the hits! Wow!